We are live. Always er look. We're back to normal. We're back to motherfucking normal. This will not be a monetized video, obviously. <clears throat> and I do appreciate it. So, like, I did the video. I'm like, hey, I'm taking a week off from asshole consulting. Asshole consulting one week hiatus. Not normal shit. Because we have, we've taken a nine-month hiatus from normal shit. Now I'm finally back. And the reason why I'm finally back is because I have defeated the fuckwits and the morons of the contractor world. I have defeated the fuckwits and the morons in the normie conforming world. I got this shit done. The house is done. The house is complete. Oh, yes, some minor things. And uh, for those of you who are uh, homeowners, you know, that there's always maintenance and everything like that. But like taking it from a shell. To furnishing it, because I never had, I didn't have any, I had enough stuff for a one bedroom apartment, a small one bedroom apartment. And I was, who was I telling? Um, was it the rule zero guys? I, I said, like, look, I, since I was 18 years old, since I moved out of the house, I've always lived in essentially a one bedroom apartment. What now I own rental property, but I only lived in one unit. Um, and even when I was living at home as a kid, because that's in my day, kids lived at home, not full grown adults. <laughs> oh, they're turning 40 and still have college debt and live at home. So I never really had a house worth amount of stuff. And all of a sudden you got this house and I was foolishly worried, foolishly worried. Um, like, boy, I, I might have too much art. I might have to have, I might have to throw some art away. And, uh, I, I have all my art out of my box. I threw, I'm like, okay. Literally most of the art went to a corner of the garage. Cause it doesn't go with the rest of the house. Um, so I have been purchasing or making art. Which you can get by pretty cheaply. But, um, yeah, there was a lot to do on this house. Least of all, furnish it. I am a master at assembling furniture now. I'm an absolute master. I have a bag of Allen wrenches. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I figured I kept them. I, there's got to be at least 30 Allen wrenches. You always get an Allen wrench with something you assemble. I've made at least a dozen trips to the recycling place because of all the boxes, everything shipped to you. And by, oh, by the way, don't, don't, don't go to furniture stores. Don't, don't go to home. Don't go to at home. Don't go to Schneiderman's. Don't, unless you want to piss away a lot of money in some very, very average furniture, just go online, walmart.com or amazon.com through my Amazon affiliate program, olderbrother.com slash donate. Click on the Amazon banner this Christmas for all your Christmas shopping. Just buy it online. Get an idea. Get a motif. Get a theme. Spend the hour or two finding that exact type of desk you want or credenza, whatever fancy people own. Have it shipped either to your house or Walmart. Pick it up. Assemble it. Boom. House starts to look the way you want it. But it's been a nine-month process. It's been 100-hour work weeks. And when I said I was taking a week off, and I said I wasn't in a good place mentally. A, a lot of, I, my God, you guys almost care. A little care started to crack through. You guys are like, oh, my God, are you all right? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I just, it's 100-hour work weeks for nine months. And it wasn't like these are productive go get them work weeks like back in the day in college where it was like you're acing your classes and you're uh, patrolling campus and tearing it up on your bike and catching the bad guy or walking the girls home. That was that was almost a celebratory lap. There was progress. This was dealing with the fucking idiots and morons of the construction world, which uh, the previous video I did about Wyoming, which would be uploaded to bit shoot later because I hurt. I, I literally just hurt way too many people's feelings. I guarantee you that's what it was. I have offended too many people, too many groups. Because when you have Californians moving to Wyoming, huh? Come on, man. How many fish in the barrel do you want to shoot at? So I insulted every stereotype and realistic person in that video. But yeah, it was. It has not been a fun nine months. And this is a celebratory thing where I get to like do an actual podcast now. We get to sit here and curse. That's why I get through. I got articles to go through. I don't have to worry because like the house is done. Like I don't have to like turn up the water heater because for whatever reason it went down. 
I don't have to, <clears throat> uh, I don't have to latch down the, the hot tub cover. Do you own a hot tub? Yes, I do. Suck a big bag of dicks all. Cappy spent a little money on himself, but he had to get a, um, some slate pieces to put on the cover in case the wind comes by and doesn't blow it off because the cover's only rated for 50 miles an hour, which it blew off in about a 30 mile an hour wind. So <laughs> South Dakota, Wyoming, same damn thing. All of America. It's all of America. But I, it, the stupidity is happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere now. You guys can't get your food ordered right. You can't get your food ordered. You know it's happening. Whether it's supply chain due, due to the root beer float, I argue it's lazy, stupid motherfuckers we've raised who are now 18-year-olds plus who are entering the workforce or not. And let's not forget Gen X leadership. Oh, we're going to get back. Oh, we're the ones. We're the Han Solo, right? Ah, uh, there's there's the boomer Darth Vader and his son Luke Skywalker the Millennial, and then there's there's Han Solo. That no, they're incompetent fuckwits too. That's why this shit isn't tested. That's why that broke. That's why this doesn't work. That's why you got to build your own shit. All my contractors, Gen X predominantly, got to do your own shit. No one is coming to save you, and you all better get. And I beat these people, guys. I beat them. Like I would, I got, I got so good, so good at fixing shit that other people fucked up, and I, and I would order double amount. <clears throat> I know this isn't going to work. I know enough. Here's how good, Aaron. How good are you? Let me tell you how good I am. Inside tip for all of you about to build your house. Let's say you go to a place. We'll keep it anonymous. Let's just say it starts with an M and ends with an Arts. And they're from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That's where their headquarters are. Just random company. Supply store, okay? Home improvement store. <clears throat> you have every right to walk into Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Crack open that thing. Whatever the thing is, a box of nails. Look at the nails. Is this the type of nail I want? Is this the type of nail I need? <clears throat> Staple gun. I'll give you a better example. Staple gun. Says they're on the box. You need a T50 staple. You know what you should do? Take your staple gun with you. Go to the homie depot. Pull open a box of staples. Put it in the staple gun and make sure it fucking works. Because 40% of the time it won't. 40% of the time you go back. 40% of the time you stand in there. I need to return this. It doesn't work. Oh, would you like another one? No, I don't want another one. I want a different one because that one doesn't work. <laughs> oh, well, why are you offering it if it doesn't work? Oh, I just work here. I think I told you guys a story about how I dragged the, whatever, the assistant manager. That was his zone. He was in charge of the zone. The assistant manager of the zone, guy about five years old than me. Hey, congratulations, you fucking worthless piece of shit. You're, you're the assistant manager. You're in charge of this zone at a home improvement store. Look at you go, boy. I bet you play ball real good. Jamaica the state, huh? You got a, a Dodge Dini, holy duty, duty, dotty, duty truck? Do you, huh? Because you're fat now. I made him walk them all. I'm like, no, no, this one. I don't know what which one to get, man. I need you to help me. I'm going to take you off the line, motherfucker. I'm sure you got lots of shit to do cleaning up the messes of the fucking incompetent fuck what you hired. But you're going to deal with me now. I said, I took up at least half an hour of his time trying to pick another spreader. I'm like, ah, I'll just get one at Lowe's. Ah! Cappy fighting back. And if we all did that, we all made all these incompetent fuckwits' lives miserable. People don't get my shit right at the uh, at the restaurant. They don't get to it to me in time. Walk out. I don't say nothing. Why would I stop the chef? Why would I do him a favor? Why would I do this like, hey, I ordered this. You sent me that. It's wrong. I'll go back and make it cool. See you maybe never again. And when they make the corner, I get up and leave. You got to fight back. You got to fight back. And that's what you do in the line, or not the lines, the aisles of the homie depot, of the Lowies, of the Menards. 
because you don't know if it's going to work or not because they packed the wrong shit. Another thing <clears throat> for those of you rookies about to go, you always bring your tape measure. This wood is an inch and a half thick, says on the sign. Is it? Is it really? Really and true? Oh, boy, let me buy it. Drive the fucking 30 minutes back home. Hey, this ain't the right length. It's an inch and a quarter, and I need an inch and a half. You go back, and you're like, this isn't, oh, we mislabeled that. Oh, good. That only took me an hour and 10 minutes of my time because I got an hour and 10. It, and that's that's what it boils down. Let me explain to you how, how it all works. <laughs> See, the dwindling percentage of truly sentient, alive, and awake people who give a damn about their their terribly fleeting existence, this terribly short blip of sentient existence, you want to make a count. That is like one in 10 people I, uh, optimistically at most. Everybody else is perfectly fine mailing it in in life. Doing the absolute minimum amount of shit, starting from kindergarten to death. School, education, work, physique, love, dating, marriage, children, parenting. They all just want it to coast. And it's 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 almost it's a compelling argument for the creation of a matrix. You all ought to just get Oculus Quest. You all ought to just jerk off the porn. You all ought to have your wife foods. You all ought to live in a delusional world. But for those of us who are awake, those of us who are not NPCs, we unfortunately have to rely on these assholes to kind of go through the motions to maybe get things right 60% of the time. But I say unto you, that gives you every right to start cracking open boxes. And make sure this shit works. Oh, sir, you can't unpack. Yeah, watch me. And you know what? You don't like that. Go get the fucking manager. That's another thing NPCs and normies conformities don't like. Confrontation. You know, like a mask. I'm not wearing a mask. Well, you don't have to in this thing. Oh, uh, sir, you know, yeah, I do. Well, why don't you put one on me? Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Of course, that probably landed you in jail, which may not be. But you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? These normies, conformies, and inferiors dropping trout, taking a big old deuce on your life. This is the best I can do. The best we can do with what we had. Every boomer said about their parenting. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Best we could do with what we had. <clears throat> Here's your ditch. This isn't a nursing home. No, it's not. It's a very nice ditch. Maybe if you grab some trees or shrubs over there, you might be able to shield yourself from a little bit of rain. But it's a, it's a ditch and it's all yours. But oh, yeah, yeah, I'm on a fixed income. It's a very nice ditch. Look at that ditch. Come on. It's low. You put like a thing below and water comes down. Maybe you get like, like when it rains, if you hold your pee long enough, if it rains and there's water running through the ditch, you have plumbing. Look how far I, are you glad I picked this nice spot in this ditch? <clears throat> and that's why I'm in a pretty good mood. That's why I got energy. Because I won. Like, I was sitting there looking at my to-do. Let me tell you how far ahead I Let me tell you how far ahead I am. Not, not, not. I'm in a better way, better mood. I'm recovering. Recovering is what I'm doing. <clears throat> I even started taking more than the initial steps to establishing residency overseas. Yeah. There's a back burner. There's there's a project you never get to, like cleaning the garage. You know, for all you normie conformy NPC inferior people, like you have a garage, but it's filled with shit. Cause you can't take a weekend off to throw that oh so precious crap away. And then your car sits out when then it snows. Oh, I wonder what the garage is for. Ah, it's for storing shit. You out there chiseling away at the windshield this winter on your car that should be inside the garage. <sighs> I forgot where I was going with that. I'm caught up. That's oh, that's that's what you people. Those are your back burner pro. Those are the projects you dream of getting to. I am so far caught up. So far caught up. This is nine months not wasted. It was like a massive retooling. You ever, okay, here, you know the movie, 
whichever one it was, was Star Trek or the episode, because it, it happened several times. The Enterprise would get fucked up somehow. Runs into Khan, whatever. So, something happens. And then they go back to Bay and like, well, we got to totally retrofit this thing. And they, they send it out completely refurbed and new with the latest upgrades. That's my life right now. Nine months. Cleaned out everything. Everything. Every box. I went through every box. All the pictures. All the all these notes from people I can't remember back in high school. And I'm like, who was when we wrote notes back in the day? This was in the before time. And so I'm like, I'll read those when I go into the ditch of the nursing home that my children who don't exist will send me to. Right? And then I, I got pictures, uh, like old photographs. I bought a picture book. I put them in the picture book. I have drawings from my nieces and nephews. I put that in the picture book, all organized. It's there on the coffee table. All right. Like you just, you can page through that. I got my box of mementos to a shoebox. Everything else is either thrown away or put away or organized somehow. <clears throat> and I had enough time finally after going through all my, imagine that you got through every box, everything. There wasn't a box filled with crap. You weren't going to use. Everything was either tossed or in use or on display. Cause you wanted to look at a nice picture that you had or whatever. I have my agates on display. I know that sounds nerdy, but yeah. <clears throat> but you get to the point that you could go ahead and start applying for citizenship. But I had to put together my resume. They want a resume. I have, do you know the last time I put my resume together? I had to look at it. It was 2009. Now I knew it was 2011, but I couldn't find that version because I did apply for a job in 2011. Um, but the, the latest one I could find was 2009. And I'm going through it. I'm like, holy shit, did I do a lot of crap? How the fuck did I not get hired? And I'm like, oh, now I know. I wish I had Josh Fluke when I was younger. I wish I had myself when I was younger to realize, oh, HR ladies be bitches. That's all. Corporate America full of kuantahahas. I'm like, look at him like, gosh, I put a lot. Of, this is very well scripted. Here I am updating it with all this digital employment. <laughs> Blogger, podcaster, dork. Not real job. You ever try to make podcasting sound like a legitimate profession? It's not possible. Yell and curse and swear at people on internet. No, that doesn't fly. Podcaster. I'm, I'm a podcaster. Talk about economics. And a, how do I say I curse and swear without saying I curse and swear? With harsh tones. But I had to put to, I had to update my resume. Send in the application. Filled out all the forms. Here's a picture of my passport. I had to get the, the real photo thing done. That's how caught up I am. <clears throat> and that's it's like the Enterprise coming in. Oh, man, Scotty, what the hell you do this thing? Don't worry. Give us a year and a half. And then the then the crew comes on again. It's Captain Kirk, except he's fatter. And you got Lieutenant Aurora and all the other guys. <clears throat> and, and it's all pimped out. That's my life right now. Fresh off the assembly or we're fresh off the docks. It is streamlined and ready to go. I even, I got it upstairs. I should have brought it down. I bought an, uh, a camera upgrade and a, and a Yeti mini, like a small microphone for my traveling because I got to do a lot of traveling instead of me using my crappy laptop microphone and thing. I mean, it does the job, but the auto quality is very poor. You, no matter where I go, you're going to have reasonably good quality. And it was just nine months of 100-hour work weeks that inevitably got to me. And I was just like, oh. And it really was the people. Like, I could, if if things are on fire, like, if you have hope, that's why it's very important when you're young, you, you, you work hard for yourself, yourself, not for others. Because you still got that hope. You're still excited about pussy. <laughs> Probably because you haven't had it. You think, well, I haven't had it. That must, oh, that was bad. That was a bad experience. That must be bad luck. Oh, that was bad experience. And then like, oh, let them figure it out. Just let them figure it out. I'll find out. We'll find out. And then you just get beaten up and beleaguered and defeated by the age of oh, about 36, 34. So you still have hope when you're young. So you're like, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go bird strike. No one's going to get that one. Now it's like, I got to deal with all these idiots, but the goal, see, you need a goal. 
you need a goal. You need a reason to get up in the morning. By God, I had one. I'm like, I am going to get the USS Cappy up and motherfucking running out of the dock bay. And this motherfucker is going to be streamlined and sweet as all motherfucking get out. And my house is not big. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you consider it fancy, though. I, I have very good taste. I'm not kidding. The, the furniture I got at Walmart, I, I didn't spend more than 4000 bucks on all, all the furniture. I think it's, and this is where good taste, a good eye saves you a lot of money. Um, because I, I kind of, I kind of pimped it out for pretty cheap, but it is class. It's classy. My place is classy. My place is pure class. You ever come visit, you walk in, damn cat, you know, it's not big, not that big. You're like, damn, this looks nice. This is nice. This is cozy. I mean, you guys got to see the stuff I got in the background, all the artwork I pulled out somewhere and that cowboy bebop poster. That's vinyl. I paid for that as opposed to stealing the rest of the art. Um, but like, I'm like, I got to get this right. I got to get that right. Took the time. You know, like, okay, where do I order that one? Okay, get the vinyl. I made the frames myself. Just slowly, slowly putting the finishing touch paste paints on the, on the USS Cappy. And now we break that champagne bottle. Like, let's go to war, son. Heck, it's it's still in the bay. It's slow. it's not even getting up to full speed just yet. This is literally like why I took it. It's like three days ago. I'm like, I need a week off. And I kept up with all the asshole consulting. And now, now it's, I'm going to be doing taxes starting tomorrow just to piss off Ryan Stone. That's what I'm going to do. Do that just to piss off Ryan Stone. Get that done and ready to go. Then I can finally get back to Operation Evil, which I almost I started. And then that went away because a bunch of other shit came up. And now here, and, and yeah, and it's, it's good. So thank you for your concern. No, nothing, nothing was wrong. Just, just literally wanted to murder people, but that's kind of normal every day of my life. Like, <clears throat> and it's normal for you people too. Don't act like I guarantee you could come up with a list of 10 people you want to kill and they deserve it. And not only will you sleep well at night, you sleep never so soundly in your life before just 10 people. I guarantee, at minimum, you all have 10 people. So it's not irrational or unheard of, rather, I should say, that I would, like, you know, just wanted to kill people. Won't do it because that's illegal. And that's how you go to jail. But we all want to kill people. Let's just be honest about that. <clears throat> and now it's all kind of done and taken care of. Thank you for your concern. But, yeah, I had, like, two days off. I did nothing. I watched two James Bond uh, movies and two episodes of Magnum P.I., and I played Oculus Quest Golf. And I ate at a really good restaurant over in Spearfish. And I sat and did nothing. I didn't go to the gym. I did no work. I did frame that Cowboy Bebop poster, though. I did get that. Uh, they said, hey, your thing came in. And I said, oh, all right, I'll go make the frame for that. But I'm getting real good at it. I got the technique down, measuring all the tools. And about the only thing left, <clears throat> this is about the only thing to put on the USS Cappy, is I finally got the shelving for my floating shelves. Cause right now all the shit's just sitting on the kitchen countertop, which is fine. Cause it's just me, you know, like, Oh, there's my spoon, fork, bowl, and dish. <laughs> and girl stops by. Oh, should I put these in the dishwasher? Why? I don't waste that much energy and, and resources and water on, on, on five dishes. Well, you have a dishwasher and girls, you girls don't really get it, man. You girls just do not get it. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use it. All right. I'll give you another example. This is a guy, the guy who owns the Southern Command. I'm doing my laundry. It's Vegas. It's hot. I don't even pay the electric bill. I said, well, instead of using the electricity, I'm going to hang my clothes outside and they'll dry in 10 minutes. So I'm out there, you know, hanging my clothes out. He's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, I'm drying my clothes. Why are you throwing in the dryer? I'm like, look, did you hear about like how they were trying to limit the amount of electricity on the grid? And do you want to pay more in electric? Like, this is, this is going to take like two minutes, if that. And it smells nice after it dries out. You don't have to, you don't have to like spend however many kilojoules. I don't know what the unit of measurement, British thermal unit, kilovolts. Kilowatts. <clears throat> why? Why even waste the electricity? Just let me let me hang it out. Let the sun do the work. Let me do the dishes. It'll be. Hey, I'm gonna spend more time putting them in there. In the boop boop beep beep beep. Remember the day you just hit on. Remember that. 
Holy shit, would I kill for some appliances like that? Washer and dryer? I have it marked with permanent marker. Like, leave this here, leave this here, hit start. Because if you, and I got the cheap one. I got the cheap one. And it still has more buttons than the, the Star Trek's Next Generation Command Center. And I just put it, like, I marked it there and there. Start. Done. Then I take it out, dry it outside. Why not? No, I've got to all got to go into the, oh, you got to put it in the dishwasher. No, I don't. My house. So nice. So nice having your own house. You could do, it's it's the, the it's my house dance. It's the my house dance. Look at me go. Guess what I'm going to do? Whatever the fuck I want. All right, here we go. It's the my house dance. All right, what are we going to do? Whatever I want. The girl's looking at me like, and she knows I'm right. This is like, I'm going to do whatever I want. She's like, yes, I know you. I'm like, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Uh, now I changed my mind. I'm going to do that. You know why? Because it's my house dance. Going to do now. Whoa, what's going to do next? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Look out here. What's going to, I don't know what it is, but it's going to be what he wants to do. <clears throat> about weird things like painting my driveway pink or something i wouldn't do that but just just you know, what you do that for i want to it's my house dance fuck off <sighs> so anyway uh that is my long way of saying thank you very much for all your concern that actually kind of hit the old cab meister right here a little like cappy's little pump like you guys were all like, you all right, Kat? Like, oh, oh shit, man. I, I, maybe I misspoke. I was not in a good place. It is. It's just, but you wouldn't be in a good place either. A hundred hours a week with stupid fucking people, and forty percent. That was really what it was. It's like forty percent. I've kind of figured it out. Kicking around doing some economic analysis. Like, what if shit doesn't work forty percent of the time? Because it doesn't. And what if we got shit to work more than 40% of the time? The logical person would say, well, wouldn't GDP increase 40%? No, it increased exponentially much because there's so much fucking time and money. I wrote an article about called The Mistake Economy where we clean up broken windows all the time. You know, like I had to go, It's an I wasted an hour and a half going to M and Arts and the place called Eau Clary in WI <clears throat> ran by whoever the guy was. I was like, we would easily, easily quadruple. We would have no problems. If you got the mistake ratio down to 10%, we would easily triple economic production because we'd be spending so little time cleaning up other people's messes. You spend at least 80% of your time cleaning up other people's fuck-ups. That's what it is. That's all it is. That's all we are is an economy of fuck-ups and we clean up each other's messes. What do you think the public schools are? That's babysitting all your fuck-ups. You didn't want those kids. You didn't use a condom. She didn't go on birth control. She didn't think it through. She just liked your, your other guy's genetic material and had you as a sucker to pay for it. She needs to have that kid and you to pay for it. She doesn't want to raise it. It's a fuck-up. The kid's a fuck-up. What do we do? I know. Public schools. Babysit. I mean, public schools. Free daycare. I mean, education. That's what the public schools are. 80% of it. 8% of those kids aren't going to do anything great. They're not getting any real education. It's just babysitting. What's the fuck? It's a sunk fallacy. What broken window fallacy. God, 80% of you go to college for completely jokeless, worth bullshit degrees. I mean, what would happen there? We'd have easily another 1.5 trillion. Well, not, that's accumulated. I take the, I'm sorry. I take that back. We would save 400 billion a year. 400 billion. That'd pay a lot of interest on the debt. that even pay down the debt a little bit. A lot of housing if you just want to build people houses. Oh, wait, we can because we trained up three generations of soy boy, pussified, pansified, weak-ass, sad, victimized pieces of shit for the past three generations who don't know how to swing a hammer, but they can tell you how they're aggrieved and offended. Gee, I wonder if that was a mistake. I wonder if we had sent them to trade school instead, if we'd be better off now. Ah, <clears throat> oh, but I beat them. I beat them, guys. I got it. Woo! Here comes Cappy. Here comes Cappy. No one is. His fans love and care about him. Coming, coming to get you, motherfuckers. 
Because there's nothing like all this. Like, think about that. Just think. I have gone through every box. I'll get to I'll get to the video games. Don't worry. <clears throat> I've gone through every box. I am about to do my taxes for a year. That ain't even over yet. Just so I can be done with that shit. I have a travel mic and camera ready to go once I sling my backpack on the thing and I hit the hit the plane. <clears throat> and I've sent out one application for citizenship. I <laughs> I got all my ducks in line. I got a lot of time now to finally do what I want. And now, so now these things are really going to get back to normal. I could start working on some new projects, some good ones. And unfortunately, I wish I could tell you guys what those are, but I am going to fuck up some people. And a, a, a legal, legal. Any of the censors out there? I know, I know YouTube would be profitable if we didn't pay all the purple hair censors. <clears throat> I'm not going to physically fuck anyone up. I'm not going to do anything illegal. I'm going to execute on Operation Evil. And look, you guys, for any of the YouTube sense, you all like the Democrat Party, right? So you like fucking up people, right? Look what they did to the black community and the Latino community and women, right? So you're all for fucking people up, as long as it's legal, right? And it's masked under Marxist politics. As long as we say the intentions are good, fuck whether it's practically good, right? Right? We don't actually want black people getting out of poverty, do we? No, no, no. We got Jesse Jackson up our shit. Keep them always down so they always need me so I never have to work a job just like his son now too. <clears throat> I just want some of that pie. So the censors should actually pull whatever levers you need to promote me because we're all for lying to people to profit off of it, right? Right? Kind of like Nike. Hey, these shoes will make you down with the cause because Colin uh, Caper Dickless over there uh, couldn't throw a ball as good as the other guy, right? And we'll get ourselves 120 bucks out of every poor little black kid who don't have 120 bucks. Or could usually throw that to something a lot more important like a bike or a computer. But no, you need to, you need to sell them shoes, right? Right? Because you care so much, right? That's what we're here for, right? Team Google, yeah! <clears throat> All right. Go through these super chats so I don't fall too far behind. I'll get to more later. We'll get to video games. Competent man, two books. Looks like AOA dial up is having problems again. What is, is it? Am I slow again? Don't talk. It, it's, it's the who dangs. 40% of the time people are fucking up, man. 40%. I tried. I did a speed test before. Is HOA going to come after you because you're under six foot? Ha ha. <laughs> no, there is no HOA here. There's a, there's a district and you pay to have roads plowed. That's basically it, but there's no HOA. Chris is black or tornado chasing agent in the field. Two bucks. Take your time off because my mental health, dude. Yes, I am. Yes. But unlike people like, oh. Dude, I've seen so many millennials. I used to have a great um, narrator and I recommended him to other people. People, because he was the best. Oh, millennial breakdown. Oh, my home life isn't good. Uh, move. But then I'd have to pay rent. Yes. Yes, you would. But then I'd have to get a job. Yes. Yes, yes, you would. But that's hard. Yes. Yes, it is. But it's much harder living with insufferably bad people. But I get free rent. Well, I guess you're okay getting tortured to death and having your life be miserable uh, <clears throat> because you're that afraid of labor. My God, how many of you waste your lives? Just ruin your lives because you're afraid of a fucking job. But yes, it was not really... Me Look, I, I'm back, right? Doing the thing I like to do. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to do asshole consulting anymore. And there weren't even that many bad requests that time, but but every you know you can't just stare in the abyss all the time. California's <laughs> Californians think any place is better because it couldn't have possibly been them that voted in their Marxist psychotic shithole, so they think Wyoming is better without moving there, without getting. Oh, hang on, I had it here. 
Darn it. Let me let me go back in and out. I gotta get a better setup. Give me a second. All right, the reason I do that is because I bump the wire and then it undoes, and I don't know if I'm live or not anymore. Do 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 do. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep the scroll scrolling. Did I miss some? I think I missed some because YouTube did the the thing the wrong way. Oh, I logged in and out. All right, maybe we'll have to go back. Competent man, two bucks. You are not a YouTube creator. You work in me, dude. I, I I've come to a conclusion. <clears throat> it was already an unacceptable proposition to work for corporate America when I was young and willing to give it my all. Now. Oh, fuck that shit. I'm like driving truck. I'm fucking Alex um, uh, Patino. I'm P Alex patino -ing it. I'm I'm going to bartend. I ain't ever working in corporate. I'll go on welfare before I do that. Oh, my gosh. It came down with a case of the bipolars. OMG. I need disability. Oh, uh, well, um, I, 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 I stabbed that cat over there. Yes. Yes. As far as you know. Now, give me money. I can't possibly apply for a job now. <clears throat> no, I'm not going through that. I am a media specialist engineer. No, I'm a podcast. I, I was kind of proud of, um, of, oh, I can't say. I think he swore me to secrecy. I'm proud of somebody who had to go get a job and we interviewed with the HR lady. He was just like, look, I don't give a shit. Okay. I'm coming here to do this job. I'm doing because you're paying me money. And I think when he said that it turned her on, and I think in just being that blunt and honest, he probably got the job. But I swear to God, I'm not interviewing with HR. And if some hiring manager says, what are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? I give me a different question. No. Do you have any other questions that aren't the regular standard questions? All right. You pay this much. That's enough to keep me interested for a couple months. All right. I'll probably want to raise by that time. Cause I'm going to do the better job unless this is one of those places where if I do a better job, I'm the nail that sticks out and then you hammer me down. I'll show up on time. I'll be sober. All right. Now, do you want to hire me or not? There's none of this three, four levels interview. I don't meet the vice president of the company hall. I'll never work with yes or no. All right. Fine. We give you our probation period. Fine. But I'm never doing this like panel interview for some rookie entry level job. Never again. JS, 50 generous dollars. Thank you, Cappy, for all the entertaining content. Though I'm starting to hear your voice in my head when something infuriating comes up at work-centered, pointless VS. Hopefully not in an angry, rage way. I don't want you getting fired because you've been listening to too much of me. You're yelling, you stupid, dumb motherfucking quad the This is what we got to do. It really is, guys. You just bide your time in corporate America to make your money and get out until like you either got another gig going on. There's nothing wrong driving truck, working security. I I am not against you guys becoming uh, do internet media thing, do a YouTube channel. Just be yourself, be honest, and do it regularly because you never know where that's going to lead. Some people like different personalities. They do. You you never know. Like I started binging on this guy. He just talks about uh, astronomy stuff. Like how did the difference between a neutron star and a black hole? And this guy's got like 17 million views. It's very simple what he does, but that's probably what, you know, people like chocolate chip ice cream, or chocolate chip uh, cookies. It's not that hard, <clears throat> but just keep your head down. I got another agent in the field in Minneapolis. One of the kind people who reached out to me was concerned about me. And I was like, when the hell are you moving out of there? He's like, I can't, I got family. I'm like, oh man. Like, keep your head down, man. I was like, yeah, I know. And so I feel bad for him. Everybody do the Michigan rag. Everybody do the Michigan rag. Nonstop Dre, two bucks. What country are you getting residence in? Australia? <laughs> no, I won't tell anyone. That's what, because this is not the only place I'm applying. I'm applying several places. It's just, it takes a while to build this up. And the other places you got to go get a lawyer recommended that you do it. And here's the other thing. I'm not, this is like, this is the life raft one. <clears throat> don't even know if it's going to work, but this is like, I don't even know if I want to live in this place. You know, this is just in case the U S goes absolutely Marxist bat shit insane. I'm like, okay, I can get out of here. All right. I'm not this poor pauper coming into that country. Like, ah, oh, welfare. 
Magic dirt. So one thing I'll tell you, if, if I ever apply to be a citizen of your country, to conduct business in your country, I am not the, I'm a refugee, give me money. Welfare? Oh, by the way, your culture sucks. I'm going to tell you why you're all so racist. And so it's not going to happen. I want to go into my hut and be left alone. And I will leave your people alone. And I will work and I will pay taxes. And I will be a law-abiding citizen. And I will not even have chase after your women. I want to have no kids. Oh, we don't want any Clary genes in this genetic pool. I will die in my hut. I will even leave you money to bury and dispose of the body. <clears throat> That's it. I just You won't even know I'm there. But it will not be Australia. Interesting side note of Cappy Cap history. I did apply for citizenship in Australia. And holy shit, am I glad I didn't get it. This was quite some time ago, though. This was back when... Um, oh, St Steve? No, that was the Canadian. Jo John Howard? Ron Howard? John Howard. Howard. Their premier. This is back when Australia had high economic growth, low inflation, no debt. Doing really good. Oh, yeah, get rid of that guy. I want that guy. Things are too good. Going too good. That's like after you know Reagan and uh, two uh, administrations of Reagan and, and Bush Senior. Oh, the economy's doing. We got. We better switch horses now. Maxi Mike, five bucks. You may not be able to swing a hammer or work in a GDP contributing profession, but man, is this millennial low T oil quaff <laughs> quaffed. Beard looking Gucci. Yes, it is. They're still doing it too. That's the other thing. They're still doing it. Uh hat hat hatan D clogs, new guy, 4334, five bucks. What is your P.O. box and what flavor of rooster booster do you like? Merry Christmas. Email me so I have an IP address. I don't give out my P.O. box. I need to know who you are. Cause no one would ever send a bomb, would they? <clears throat> I already have a supplier. Don't don't worry. I already have a supplier for Rooster Booster Light, uh, which thankfully they still do sell. Competent man, two bucks on Friday. PA Pennsylvania Supreme Court ended school mass. Really good, good. Ferd Freeman saw two bucks. They say blue states are net payers, red net takers. Uh, there is some truth to that, um, but it's not as clean cut as that might be. Um, and I did a video even on this, but a lot of it has to do with um, the population of red states <clears throat> versus the infrastructure. Like take, let's take North Dakota, perfect example. Interstate 94 runs through that. There ain't no people in North Dakota, but there's this big ass interstate that runs through it and interstate 29. So federal spending, obviously, but that's not welfare spending. Now, also in intellectual honesty, just because they're red don't mean they don't collect their welfare. This is where I hate these people even more because at least the, the blue state people, their marks is like, I deserve free crap because I'm a lazy piece of shit. They are somewhat honest about it. Then you get, I've seen so many Republicans, especially over <coughs> Scottsdale, Arizona, driving their SUVs. This is in the housing crisis using EBT cards at the gas stations. Don't ask me how I know. All right. Uh, yeah. So there is some legitimate hypocrisy going on. And the left is absolutely right to point that out, that hypocrisy out about the right. Um, but then another thing is military bases where, you know, so here's South Dakota. Well, South Dakota and North Dakota is another perfect example. There's Grand Forks Air Force Base. South Dakota has. Um, what the hell? Ells Ellsworth. 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 Ellsworth has B-1 bombers, I think B-2 bombers, and some fighter planes. The North Dakota Air Force Base has, I think, just fighter planes. I could be wrong. If you didn't know, bombers and fighter planes are very expensive. And so there's literally billions of dollars being poured in in government money. Again, not welfare. Um, <clears throat> so that that is somewhat misleading, although factually technically true. Um, but it's not like... You know, oh, it's just uh, all those they're they're hypocrites. Well, they're hypocrites, but there's other things going on as well. I'm sorry, looking numbers up and facts. Uh Fred Freeman's all two bucks. Could we retire from corporate and become teachers? Dude, no, no, no one. I'll, I'll tell let me just tell you guys. Very few people tuning in here 
can become teachers because you can't stand the politics of it. All right. I did substitute teaching for a while and you can't discipline the children. Um, there is so much government regulation and bullshit shoved up your ass. I was a sub. I wasn't even a real teacher. And the only the only one thing, the only one thing I feel sorry for teachers about is they got to deal with the state and the politics and the bullshit. But they kind of they deserve it because they just didn't want to work for a living. So it's like, OK, you get to deal with this crap. So even if you are a Democrat leftist Marxist teacher, but you are well intended and you do want to help out these kids. Good luck. Your hands are tied. Um, because, I mean, you think teachers are bad. Wait till you have college or school administrators, people with their doctorates in education. Oh, holy worthless scum on this shit stain, Batman. Um, so there's no one here I think could tolerate being a teacher unless you absolutely did not care about the children or the taxpayer for that matter and could just walk in and line like, oh, we're going to talk about how white people be racist more. We're going to talk about how the United States sucks more. We're going to talk about how you're entitled to free crap and follow your heart in the money. Well, I mean, if you were a truly soulless person, maybe you could do it. But I don't think anyone here could be a teacher. And let's also be honest. Most parents don't raise their kids. I mean, come on. Do you want to babysit 35 kids who all think they're the world's greatest shit? They actually think they're better than the millennials. Can you believe the balls on those kids? And these kids don't even know if they got balls or not. Because the teachers know, oh, you might. Oh, who knows? I know you're only eight years old, but you may want to think about whose genitalia you like to lick, huh? I can't do that. I, can't, I couldn't do that. I'd be like, hey, how about we leave the kids the fuck alone and let them play out in the playground? How about we give them like an extra 15 minutes of, uh, of playground time, huh? How about we teach them a little bit of financial management? Oh, no, then they might become not Democrats. <clears throat> no, none of us could do it. Red Pill Korea, 5,000 won. What's the won to uh, won to USD? What's the exchange rate? Is it 1,000? Oh, good Christ. What is this? Why don't they just revalue their currency? Oh, for God's sake. 0.00085. 0, 0, 0, 8. It's like the Turkish lira. My God. 5,000. What do we got? $4.25. Thank you very much. Sir, I am an MZ. Oh, militarized zone. So, so MZ? What? You mean militarized zone? That's what I'm thinking when I think Korea. Soy boy from the east. Would you sell your books to Korea? Not North Korea, South. <laughs> I can't sell. I'm not having anything to do with North Korea. We need a boomer like you. Sir, I'm an MZ soy boy. What's an MZ? Um, I I I don't know. I, I don't translate it to Korean. Now, Korea, South Korea has a huge sex war going on. Um, and obviously my books are based for uh, a Western, certainly American audience. But if you think you could garner some information from it, if you think there might be a uh, what I'm afraid of, though, is if I would just try to sell it to Korea, they'd say this is an American and you'd look through the day like this doesn't apply to us, though we may have some parallels because uh, Korea. Oh, my gosh. The men and women there, the young men and women are very much at each other's throats here. I, I kind of like always make a caveat that there are some uh, women that do like men and some women who don't hate men. They must may not like them. And yeah, certainly there are women that hate the men here and, and some of that on the same side of the men. But the younger people in South Korea, like, damn, it seems like half the women really hate the men. And then half the men are like, fuck you feminists. That is no fucking joke on on over there. Um, Yeah, I'm not against selling my, my books overseas. It's just, you got to translate them. I've not had, <clears throat> good experiences with translators. Uh, the Geth, five bucks. Is it even worth it for self-respecting young men to enter a professional workforce? Is the pay worth the mental torture? If if you, ch look, it's not the profession you enter. It's the degree you get, which I guess does mean the profession you enter. Here's the very simple rule you could follow, Geth. Okay, this is all, all it is. You need to be the employee. The employer needs more than the employee needs the employer. You're the CPA. You're the programmer. You're the engineer. All right? And then you avoid this shit. This is where you want. And now you could also be self-employed so that you don't have like, no, like 
ask me if I will ever sit through some kind of Marxist uh, brainwashing training. I get a kick. I get such a fucking kick out of corporate America. Well, you have to have diversity training, justice training, sensitivity training, sexual harassment training. You know the training they'll never give you? Training for the fucking job. Because those fucking cocksuckers will fucking like, oh, that's what college is for. You better go to college and get your... You'll train them in everything but the fucking job. Fuck you. It's a great way to tell. Like, they're going to train you in all the Marxist shit, but not the job. Fuck them. Um, but to avoid all that, go into it. Just go in where it's like, no. Now, there's other professions and fields. You get, like, the trades, working on an oil rig, the merchant marines. They're not going to fucking... Like, there's no sensitivity classes in a New Mexico gas rig. Did you show up? Yeah. You reasonably sober. Okay. You're beating most American contractors, <laughs> but you have, and I know this sounds horrible, but it's true. Fine fields where there's the least amount of women. All right. You know, uh, linemen don't really have to deal with Karen and HR saying, well, you haven't updated your racial sensitivity training. Fuck you, Karen. It's 20 below outside. I got to hoof it up that mountain because it's too windy and blizzardy to fly a helicopter up there. Fuck you. And I'm the only guy in 200 miles that could go put that that town over there that needs that wire connected because the blizzard brought it down. I'm the only guy. So fuck you. No, I'm not doing your fucking Marxist training. That's what you have to be in. But if But no, it's not worth the mental torture. Then you're in the wrong profession. You, you should be able to walk in like, I'm this highly skilled. Like brain surgeons, brain surgeons don't have to deal with this shit. Heart surgeon. And if they do, it's because they don't know any better. Like, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, oh, would you like the next five heart surgeries to be rescheduled? Oh, oh, I'm, the, who's the one with the dick? I'm the one with the dick. Shut the fuck up. You fucking gelding. Get over there and fucking pass your papers. I'll be patching up hearts. You shut the fuck up and do what I tell you. Be in that position. Honestly, I'd go on welfare. I mean, it, it, it's like, do I got to take that or do I go on welfare? Go on welfare. Don't don't take Marxist leftist brainwashing training at your no, like no, no, you got to first give them my option. Like, no, I'm not doing that. Nope, not doing it. <clears throat> and if you want, you can fire me. Might be a lawsuit involved about sexism and racism. Right, going the other way for a change. Uh, but no, I'm 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 collecting welfare check. I, I'm okay going on unemployment. It's fine by me. I'm not. Oh, I know. And here we go down the same path. Oh, wait. Most of you guys are cucks. Most of you have debt. Most of you have to have that mortgage in the McMansions, in the Mick suburbs, with the Mick uh, Range Rover, with the Mick Wifey Poo, with her Mick student loans for her Mick liberal arts degree. <clears throat> no, it's not worth the mental torture. But you want another way to avoid it? You want another way to avoid it? Guess don't have kids you can't afford it. Be a minimalist and don't go into debt. Boom. Yeah, I think I'm going to let to burn him this one up. I'm going to go work at the fast food restaurant because I got the money. Competent man, two bucks. John Howard was, uh, John Howard, thank you, competent man, was Australia prime minister, spoke Chinese. Did he? Okay, cool. Chris is black, $5. So that storm I filled near Jonesboro, Arkansas, ended the lives of 90 people. Sobering to think about it, honestly, once in a 50-year event at least. Well, didn't that, that Joplin tornado hit that one too? Yeah, Chris is no joke, guys. He's the real deal, real tornado chaser. Unlike Cappy, a failed one. Failed gold, uh, gold miner and tornado chaser. Successful at everything else. Hatan D. Clogs, five bucks. I'm the guy that got you the Sony headphones. Say like hot and clogs. U W U that got you the Sony head to say hot and clogs. Well, send me an email. Hot and hot and clogs. Oh, I see. SJ, two Canadian books. Where do you see the future of video games going? Shut up, I'll get there. My show. I'm here. USS Cappy. Go. I'm the captain. I'm in my house. Look at me do my house dance. You just sit there in the peanut gallery, in a Canadian peanut gallery, no less. Are peanuts banned in Canada yet? Those are too fun, don't you think? You could throw them. Someone might lose an eye. Someone get Trudeau the pussy on this. 
Uh, Dung is falling five bucks. Do the United States go crazy and need citizenship in Texas? I'll be your sponsor. <laughs> I think I think third flinging monkey has it right. I think it's going to be Alaska. I think it'll be Alaska. All right, let's hold off on the super chats. Let me just catch up here a little bit, and then we'll get to some more. I do want to talk about the video game. Nonstop trade, two bucks. Future of gaming, more ads and strong female characters. Are you not wrong there? Ron Suarez, our other, other, other Latino agent. Ron, what do you do, man? You don't have to tell us what you do. Um, but I'm kind of curious because uh, Alex, he drives truck, and Juan, he he's a mechanic, and Atham, he just he just fucks off and smokes pipes. Uh, five bucks. Aaron, I started Muay Thai and got beat, but confidence is through the roof. Well, yeah, if you started, of course you're going to get beat. If you didn't get beat, that guy must really suck. The new guy on the mat should have his ass kicked. Of course you got beat. <laughs> Were you expecting to win? Yeah. I didn't go into jujitsu going up against the blue belt. I'm going to show this guy a thing or two. Why is his crotch in my face? Jesus, it stinks. Uh, Fred Freeman saw two bucks. Will podcast end early due to Bears versus Packers? No, I can see my penis. In order to watch football, NFL, in the United States, your gut must be so big you cannot see your penis when you go pee-pee, okay? And you wonder if you still have a pee-pee. Your wife occasionally has to lift up your gut, swab out all the mold in this shit. Says, oh, you still have your pee-pee. <clears throat> and then like, she's like, oh, oh, oh. But hey, you went to state 25 years ago, right, Al Bundy? <clears throat> hold off on the show. Guys, hold off on the super. Just hold off. Hold off. They got five bucks. I'm really in no hurry to leave my wagey job. Not needing so much money is another way to not need employers. Right. Right. It's freedom, man. It's freedom. Bryce T, five bucks. Spent last night with my sisters and their boyfriends. Night ended with them arguing and going to bed mad. I left and went home to my dog in peace. <laughs> It's just, there's a great saying. I'm not going to argue with you. That's it. I'm not going to argue with you. It's that way or go away. That's it. There are no arguments, just me and compliance. Nonstop trade, two bucks. Even the military has diversity and SNA PowerPoints. Well, yeah, but see, when you sign up for that, the, the, that's, a, that's a separate thing. <clears throat> yeah, that's a welfare program largely the way I'm treating it. Like you go there, you get all this money, you got all this free shit, and then you get out. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hang on. All right. Stan the milkman, five Australian dollars. Howard was also also sent the SAS to board and seize that Danish freighter carrying refugees because it wouldn't leave Australian waters. Good. Wow. He actually protected the uh, sovereignty of Australia. Mexi Mike, two bucks. Hey, what's the future of video? <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, Mango Speed, 20 generous dollars. See, see, Mexi Mike, look at that. He, he, a fact, a magnitude, a full magnitude, order of magnitude, Lardy. It's like the Richter scale. Mang Mango's like the Richter scale of you, Mexi Mike. 20 generous dollars. Cappy Honda fit too small for a reconnaissance trip from Georgia to Texas and Colorado. Um, how tall are you? That's the real thing. Like, if you're short like me, you can do it. You can pull it off. Um, but, man, if you're tall, probably not. How far back does it go? Here's another thing you might want to think about doing. If you get some egg foam mattress, you throw the passenger seat way back, and you put a enough egg foam mattress, that might make it comfortable enough for you to sleep in. But, yeah, those Honda, those Honda, um, Honda Fits. Wait, Honda Fit. Honda Fit. Wait, isn't that the boxy one? Honda Fit. Am I thinking CX? Honda Fit. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. I know. It's a hatchback. I mean, it's doable. It's doable. Try that. Put, like, you know, sleeping bags, um, foam, egg foam, blankets, Towels. See if you can make it a, a reasonably comfy mattress, and that that should do it. All right. Uh, let me get to see if we missed any. 
Just bear with me. So the computer would load up. Thank you, computer. All right. Let me go back into the archive, see if I missed any. Honda Fit. No hurdy would leave wage job. Texas. MZ. PA. Country residence. Oh, here we go. We, we got a couple missed. Um, <clears throat> Mexi Mike Cappy. Did you think ahead and build the double 16-foot garage with additional RV 10-foot third garage like every other over-leverage boomer to pack random shit? Um, no, but those are very common out here. Um, I do have a three-car garage, though. And I built it deep enough that a car could park in and that I'd still have enough room for a workbench, which I have to build later. <clears throat> I'm not going to buy. I'm going to build because it's cheaper. Um, uh, Nonstop Dre 360 Cappy, the angry little engine that could. You're damn right. You're damn right. You'd be surprised how far and how reliable an engine can go if it runs on pure hate and vengeance. And I told you so -ness. Syndicate Chief, speaking of fan life, Syndicate Chief, two bucks, back to normal equals stick up Cleary's rear is, stick up Cleary's rear is, <laughs> hey, I'm happy, man, I'm happy to be back, I'm happy, there's not a bunch of questions to answer, I'm happy all this shit is done, I'm happy I can start looking at normal crap again, I'm actually looking at, I could go and do my taxes again, just listen to some jazz and start organizing receipts, <clears throat> competent man, five bucks, it's the best we can do, and that's not my job. Is this generation's version of I was just following old orders, so I can't be held responsible for World War II. Nonstop Dre for two bucks. Hardest working life coach Carlson is proud of you. Hey, you see what the Carlson like? Maybe I should add that to the thing. Let me add that. The Carlson Dean mouthed off. She, I, I was impressed for once. I was proud of the Carlson School. I'm being serious. I was like, whoa. I, I almost want to take everything back I said about the Carlson school, but I won't because it was four years of fucking hell. <clears throat> um, Stan the Milkman, five Australian dollars, just finished work mandated empowerment training. It used to be female only. First section had a Disney castle with a quote about follow your trains. <laughs> Why don't you guys just tell them no? Come on, guys. The great reset, not the great reset, the, the great uh, laying down or laying flat movement in China, and now we got the uh, the Great Resignation. Just say no, like no, I'm not doing that. And don't you dare ever fucking ask me to do it again, because there will be a sexual harassment or there'll be a sexual discrimination suit. <clears throat> Isn't there a lawyer out there who could do a class action lawsuit against all these large employers on the behalf of men and whites, and certainly white males? I mean, don't don't do white males. It's too small. You need a sexual harassment complaint of, from all men and a race complaint from all white people. They already got all the other people, you know, other races. Just just scare, counter scare the piss out of them. Scare the ever living shit piss out of them. Nonstop Dre, two bucks. Where's your fainting couch and therapist, dude, bro? Uh, Chris is black. Oh, okay. So we caught up. We caught up. All right. Now, <clears throat> now that I'm caught up there. Now we go back here. Now we make sure there are no more new ones. Uh, boo 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 boo. Uh, oh good goodness, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, our Soviet agent in the field. Well, maybe not Soviet. Probably Russian. A Russian agent in the field. Four hundred. What's rubles? Is it like twenty dollars? Uh, what's the ruble to dollar? Twenty to U.S. Maybe fifteen to U.S. What is it? I remember it was in the teen. Oh, it's 14, uh, 1.4 cents. Oh, now I got to do the math. 449, 449 rubles times 1.4 cents. At $6 and 30 cents. Thank you, our, uh, our Russian friend. <clears throat> our Russian friend writes, I just want to say I'm progressively impressed by your content. I'm very familiar. Other big figures in the sphere. Lovely breath of libertarian. Well, thank you. And you being, are you... Is that Coop from uh, from Twin Peaks? Is that you or is that Cooper, the Agent Cooper? Looks like Agent Cooper. If it's not Agent Cooper and that's you, you look like Agent Cooper from Twin Peaks, which was the only reason to watch that show. Or Dual Spires. We'll see if anyone gets that one. Uh, thank you very much for our Russian agent in the field. 
Russia is a country I'm increasingly looking towards. So because I won't lie, Vladimir Putin ain't effing around. He actually gives a shit about the sovereignty of Russia. Oh, but he kills people. Oh, darn. Gee, he killed people trying to fuck with Russia, did he? Oh. Look at all that polonium. I didn't even know that was an element. Did you get some in your toothpaste? Uh, the Gath, five bucks. You say that engineers and surgeons won't be subjected to the BS, but I don't see it staying that way. You assume they value productivity over compliance. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Until there ain't anybody. Okay, look. You start seeing people cracking already. Like, didn't the union say, no, we're not, we're not taking the root beer float? And then also, okay, you don't have to now. Um, now they got to get the National Guard in, I think, to run some nursing homes and some um, some emergency rooms because enough nurses says, nope, we're done. Uh, then I think, was it the Navy that also flinched? I mean, they, they, they've had it so long for so good. They don't understand how money works and that their jobs are. Look, <clears throat> HR, compliance, the law department, all the assholes and dick wipes that work in a corporation that don't produce the fucking shit. They don't have jobs if the workers don't produce the shit. Like, because really the most important person in the Ford Motor Factory plant is the factory workers. Because if they're not there, you don't get a fucking a paycheck. So if the doctors aren't there and you got five surgeons, a surgery scheduled out and these people have been waiting for a heart transplant or some kind of heart surgery and you have to reschedule. Oh, I see lawsuits coming. I don't know where you're going to find another heart surgeon because they're pretty rare to come by. You could get another diversity and inclusion lecturer. They're a dime a dozen. Maybe you could get a women's studies major to talk to you about diversity and, and empowerment. Oh, but you can't find a heart surgeon, huh? Huh? Oh, you like the electricity to work so the heart surgeon could do the job. Oh, but you made Bob, the electrician, take one too many diversity classes. And he's like, done. Fuck it. Goodbye. Well, let's just find an electrician. Where are they? And why aren't they showing up sober? Because you're in Wyoming, you fucking moron. Just walk away. Just walk away. Save up your money. Save up for three months living expenses and take yourself a nice, a nice month long vacation. That's it. There you go. See what happens. Fred Freeman saw two bucks, no root beer float. Are you afraid of needles? Yes, I am actually afraid. I don't like needles. Does one reason I stopped doing one of the main reasons I stopped doing that uh, uh, testosterone thing uh, is because of the needles. I hated giving my shots. What was it? Twice a week or something. <clears throat> horrible megan crumb female agent in the field atham once again not in his game letting women in now i got women in here again this is supposed to be an all men's group and atham is asleep at the wheel letting women in megan crumb five bucks thank you megan hey cappy i discovered you two years ago i'll be graduating in may with a degree in nursing bravo there you go sweetheart bravo very good very good Thank you for all the advice and entertaining. Well, good for you, Megan. I'm glad you got a degree. That's a good degree, like a, a bachelor's degree. You got to do bachelor's minimum. <clears throat> you may want to think about getting a nurse practitioner. Then you're talking golden or an, a, a specialized nurse, like anesthesia nurse or whatever. Um, but that is awesome. That is awesome. That is good to hear. I might have to have a chat with Ath. I'm letting women into this, this men's only space. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Now we are done. We are caught up. Let's do sponsors really quick. Um, if you would kindly donate this Christmas to Thor and Missy's Missy's Recovery Fund. I don't have the link. Look it up. S search GoFundMe Thor Missy. Okay. She's recovering from a spinal cord injury. She was paralyzed from the neck down. She has to relive. She's thankfully has recovered like her feeling again. She has to walk and everything again. Obviously, they need money. No, the assholes over at Best Buy don't need you to round up to help donate to the fuckwit club. Oh, we help bail out fuckwits from fucking up their lives. Donate to the fuckwit club. Half a cent makes it to every, you know, for every dollar makes it there. 99.5 cents goes to Tilly Magoo, the administrator of the fund. <clears throat> so please donate there. If you would kindly consider getting some of my books. They make great Christmas gifts. The uh, How Not to Become a Millennial, Bachelor Pad Economics, yeah, you know, uh, Financial Advice Bible for Men, Poor Rich's Retirement, 
One that is a mandatory that everyone should tune in or read that is tuning in here is Curse of the High IQ. Enjoy the decline and a lot more because uh, that pile of books, is, there's no more pile. I'm going to put this pile back. But the pile is back, but it's the same books I just showed you, so there's no real reason to go through those books again. Um, point being, I have a lot of books that you can go ahead and read, paperback, Kindle, and Audible, and those are just some of them. Uh, Turd Flingy Monkey's book, uh, The Way of Monkey book. That is a good book. You might want to tune into a show. You can find him on BitChute. That's how I tune into him. Uh, Pushing Rubber Downhill. Uh, Adam Piggott's book, a must read uh, about a young man on the path to become a Jedi Knight, but he's Australian. We got a lot of Aussies tuning in. You guys would like it because he talks about all these places in Australia. He wrote a crotch rocket from Perth to Sydney, like in the 80s. Yeah, when there weren't a lot of gas stations, right? You very much would enjoy this book. Um, <clears throat> academiccomposition.com. Go to academiccomposition.com and contact Alex if you want someone else to write your papers for you. Uh, Christmas vacation is here, but if you uh, had a little bit of a difficult time this semester, this past semester in college because of all the prereq bullshit classes, have Alex and his crack team of writing staff write your papers for you. He is also always looking to hire people. Indemandcareers.com if you are looking to become a digital marketer, but without having to go to college, in which case you won't learn anything. Anyway, take Seth Himes' digital marketing course, indemandcareers.com. <clears throat> Tell him that Cappy sent you Big Tal's Guide to Retiring on 200000 in Southeast Asia. You can go to mengoingtheirownwaybooks.com, ab ab abbreviated, acronymed. Uh, the Pence Principle. Probably I haven't promoted that one in a while. Randall Bentwick's book, The Pence Principle. Read that so that you don't end up in jail and end up me too'd like Brett Kavanaugh. Boot to boo, boot to boo. Signaturestyle.com. I forgot to promote this guy. Go to signaturestyle.com if you are looking for a very stylish uh, fashion, particularly shirts. Guy is out of Ireland. Um, check that out. Um, order the, uh, the the books. Order his shirts online. Make a great gift for a guy. Great, great non. Uh, uh, it would make a great straight gift for a guy. You give that to a guy and like, hey, we're cool, and not in the you know way that other people think it means. Ba da pa, ba da pa, ba da pa, <clears throat> ba da pa. All right, video games. Um, so, cat. Uh, speaking of catching up, getting the USS Cappy, perfectly streamlined. I break out all my video game consoles. I got everything from Nintendo. Well, not everything, but I have Nintendo, Nintendo 64, um, Xbox One, 360, and the regular Xbox. And the Xbox 360 is in the Southern Command. Xbox One said unto me, it's retro. It, it reverse it. You can play Xbox 360 games. Cool. So I have a couple Xbox 360 games. I put it in. <clears throat> problem was I haven't played my Xbox one in about six months. I haven't hooked it up. So I turn it on. I put in the game. It says you need to update this. And I'm like, I thought it could play the game. And y'all, and those of you who are younger and know how the latest generation of consoles know where this is going more or less, but I'm going to carry it further for you. I got to tell it for us, <clears throat> uh, non professional gamer type people, you know, people who have, who have had the touch of a woman, those of us who have jobs where we will set our video game console down for several weeks, turn it on, maybe play a game here or there. So I hadn't turned on my Xbox in six months. It will not update or play the game, the 360 game, unless I hook it to the internet. I plug it into the internet and Xbox, I'm not joking, continues to update 22 hours of downloads. Now, a lot of that was my internet speed. I was only getting like, like 9 to 10 megabytes per second. 22 hours of updates. And I later find out the reason why is because the operating system on your Xbox One is just a variation of Windows 10, which makes me say, why don't I just play a fucking PC game right there? So... 
I'm like, okay, I'll just sleep. And it kind of pissed me off. And this is one of those things where I was going to a bad place. Because I have been working so much. Finally, I get to sit down and chill out and play this video. Like, I just want to chill. Now I, I have time to play a video game. I, I, and I wouldn't. I would wake up and work until it's about time to go to sleep. It was revisiting college. Minus the uniform and patrolling. It was manual labor and carpentry. So I would go to, I really was looking forward to playing a video game. And I was like, oh, I can't. All right, fine. I'll do some kind of internet media or something like that. It, what you end up really doing is you just do more work. Like what's next? What's next on? Okay, I'll put up some racks. I got so many racks up hanging on the ceiling. Like there's nothing. Nothing is going to touch the ground. Everything is stored. There's a place to put everything. This is a great USS Cappy battleship I built. Although battleships are technically obsolete. <clears throat> so, um, and then when I go to sleep, I wake up, I plug it in, and I turn it on. You know, like, I'm, why is it off? Should be updating this entire time. It shut off and it stopped updating. So instead of like eight hours from 22 equals, what is that, 14, it still needs like 19 hours of updates. So I have to keep making to move the joystick to make sure the Xbox One doesn't turn off and stop updating. <clears throat> Literally three days go by. I get it updated. Three more hours to update the video game. Try to play the video game. I can't play the video game because it's electronic arts. And in order to play the video game, I need to have an account. I just want to play the campaign. No, you got to set up a user. So I set up some bullshit username, password. Not even password, just like a username. <clears throat> you have an EA account. Would you like to have updates? Of that, of that? Would you like us to shove our dick up your ass and then your nostril and then inside your eyeball? We here at the Electronic Arts family just want to let you know that Bob and Accounting farted again. We want to let you know that we care greatly about diversity electronic arts. We don't want you to play your fucking... Now keep in mind, four days to play a game. <clears throat> oh, and then just so you know, for anyone thinking about getting either PlayStation 5 or the Xbox One... You will install. Now, I got a bunch of Xbox One games. By the way, they were $6 a piece. I thought they're stolen. There's just that little demand. This one was Battlefield 5, like which was a AAA. These are all AAA games. Call of Duty, uh, Infinite War. You put it in. And these all took 10 hours, which meant two days to update. <clears throat> and then while it's updating, it'll say ready to start you're thinking like oh it installed the campaign or some basic stuff and i can play now what they do is they install this mini game where you play through it and it really sucks and it's boring they kind of use it as the trainer like now in battlefield 5 um they went to amazonia which a lot of you guys don't know about amazon amazonia is actually a real place near the amazon but it's all women and it's Big women, big tall women, <clears throat> kind of like uh, Futurama, Snoo Snoo, the Snoo Snoo women. So they're bigger women, so there's a lot more vaginal excrement. And they, they harvested it all for years, and then they created this soppy vagina pool slop of, a, of an intro ready to start kind of get your feet wet kind of game. And... <clears throat> Of, of the millions of things wrong with modern day game, I'm because we're at this point in the start, I'll do it just at a little bit of an aside. For all you video game writers, I know you suck at writing. I know your dream was to not write a book because that's too hard. Because if you wrote books, you'd be good at writing, but you're not. That much is obvious. You wanted to be movie playwrights, you want to write movies. Okay, and you aren't good enough. Plus, you weren't related to the right people. Plus, you wouldn't suck dick. You don't forget that too. That's also why you're not in the movie industry. So, 
your failed ass, failed untalented ass gets picked up by the wannabe movie industry of the world, and that is video games. Now, the reason you were picked up is because you might have had some experience, a little bit, <clears throat> writing something for some D-list movie. And they said, we need you to write a script that kind of plays a little bit of a background to this game we're going to play. But the problem is you didn't hear game, you heard movie. And so what you do with the ocean amount of vaginal excrement you had acquired from the Amazonian way is you write the world's worst playwright, the worst script for a movie nobody ever wanted because the people want to play a fucking game. And it was literally as Chris Beckloff talked about where it's like you're just watching a movie and you press, press A every once in a while. <clears throat> In this intro to Battlefield 5, not the actual campaign, not the online thing, war is bad. If you've never been in war, the honor of this thing, that thing, and society. But when time comes, darkness falls to go and war with the peace and the serenity of the justice of the people. And it, 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 I just like, and you can't, and you know, you know, some failed writer who couldn't make it in Hollywood designed it and had a say in the programming because you can't skip through it. They make you sit through this shit and not play the game because you have to understand this is not a game. This is a movie that has a little bit of a campaign and then you go online and play multiplayer. And more increasing of them have some kind of political message. What was it? Um, <clears throat> the rest of us too. And 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 then GameStop had to refuse taking them in because they had too many. They weren't making any money on them. They were that bad. There was a reason without a political message. Battlefield 5 and Call of Duty. This not, it's because your games, can't, they're not playable. These were Xbox One games, by the way. In... I know I'm going to sound like a boomer, boomer seat, but when, when you buy a console and we get a physical disc, you put it in and then you started playing. The disc doesn't even allow you to play. The game's not even, it just allows you access to download, which why even bother going to the video game store then, assholes? Why even bother with the veneer? I mean, it is, after all, a PC now, right? It's got Windows 10 operating system, but now we got the inconvenience of a joystick instead of a mouse. And Hey, you know, Microsoft, <clears throat> PlayStation, Sony, you know what you should do? You should introduce a keyboard and a mouse to the PlayStation 6 and the Xbox 2. That's what you should do. I think that'd be a, a much helpful upgrade. So... Many more hours pass. Another literally about a week of not playing video games. The game gets installed, and it turns out Battlefield Five. In this particular case, they scaled back the campaign a lot because it's now just a game for multiplayer online. Uh, what if I don't want to play multiplayer online? Now I know. Hey, you got to move the the new audience. The market is moving to online multiplayer only. Fortnite, that's fine. Okay, cool. But campaigns are going away because they're too much to program. And they 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 delivered, they spent more money on getting soppy vagina juice authors to write shit than they did this this uh campaign because all it was was running around and sneaking with a sniper rifle, which is cool if I'm you know like for a mission or two, but not the whole damn thing. Oh, and it's only four missions. So then I talked to uh, uh, Robert Colslin. He's on Twitter. Professional geek, real geek, like old school, goes to conventions, shit like that. <laughs> Works in the industry. Fluent in Japanese. And I asked him, and I said, okay, explain this to me. Is there ever going to be a platform where I could just plug and play? No. So am I to understand that they are targeting not the casual gamer, but they are throwing all, not some, all of their money 
into hardcore gamers. Because the only way this makes sense to own a modern day console <clears throat> is if you are a hardcore gamer. Not an avid gamer. That won't be enough. You might let that, that system sit there for a week. And then you're going to have three hours of updates. My God, I'm running out of space with all the updates too, by the way. The hard drive isn't going to be big enough. I have to like delete games off of the, the thing in order to free up space to play another game. <clears throat> but even like, I can't, I just can't take the game, put it in and play. I need an old guy. He's like, yes. And he says, the reason why, because these people, frankly, and this is why I, I, let me not put words in his mouth. I say, is it, is it basically there's us normal people who get laid and have jobs and like once a week might want to turn it on and play a game and veg out for a weekend or maybe an evening. And we can't do it because of the updates and therefore it will kick us into the next day. And therefore, they're really only going after the only people who have time to do this are your hardcore gamers who are the only people who don't have jobs. There is no way you can have a job and play this. Or all you do is you go to your job and then you play this. And that is it. He's like, yes. I'm like, aren't they afraid that's he's like, nope, they'll buy it right off the bat and they'll all pay for the DLCs, the downloadable content. <clears throat> and he's like, and then the other people, like your casual gamers are just playing on their phone. And so I'm like, okay, so for the, for the casual gamer, there's no market. You're done. You're gone. And I'll tell you this, you know, talking about not getting frustrated, talking about all sorts of rage and anger come from the difference between expectations and reality. There is no bigger gap between expectations and reality than an Xbox one or a PlayStation five, whatever modding it. Now, Nintendo switch, crazy concept. You put the game in, you play. And I'm going Nintendo from here on out. If I ever get a, a console game again, if not, it'll be PC. Um, but I like I like having a room I can sit in. I, and the keyboard and PC is just not. I have my reasons for not going PC. <clears throat> but there, for you normal people, for you guys with jobs, just want to chill out and play a campaign and run and gun. No, no. And not only that, but these people have so little else going on in their lives. They will take the political message. They will bend over, spread their ass cheek and take the political message as well. And so it's over. It's only going to be a shrinking percentage of the population. Or maybe it's growing. Who knows? Maybe the, the uh, perma virgins or the virgin towels or the incels or the neats or whatever you want to call them. Maybe they're increasing in population and they get enough stimmy checks or UBI checks or their parents' money or their government's money or whatever. They could go ahead and get these games and play and live in this alternative reality. But for any of you, this is like you got a life, but you still like gaming. It's over. You can't. <clears throat> Let's say you're a. Let's say you're a parent, you're a dad, okay? And you're not against gaming, but you know that like it, it can like anything else too much of it could be a bad thing. But you wanna you wanna play some, you know, Namco football or RC Pro Am. There's some throwbacks, <clears throat> but you want to play the modern version. So you get your kids a Nintendo whatever or a video uh, Xbox whatever, and then you try to play a video game Christmas Day. It is not happening. It is not happening. You have to log in every day. Oh, and by the way. You can't download unless you have yourself a username and password for the PlayStation or the Xbox. And after a while, you're like, fuck this shit. Fuck you. And that's the future of video games. And that is, there isn't one. It's going to be big triple A release with marketing and advertising, <clears throat> online, soppy vagina excrement story plot written by failed Hollywood writer. Who never made it probably with political overarching thing press B occasionally to advance play screen and when you have to update all the time and the only way to really be good at it is to buy all the downloadable content for twelve hundred dollars and that's all you do it's all you do because it isn't about fun but as far as I can tell it's providing a very large loser class a matrix. That's essentially what it is. People, I, 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 I can't, I can't sit. There's a 15 minute wait, sir, for for dinner. Nope, going somewhere else. No, going. Some, my time is to. You guys will wait. You'll wait. 22 hours of download. You'll wait. 
Don't say, well, you got to get higher bandwidth. No, no, no. <laughs> you really don't have a choice out here. But you'll wait that long for a game that ain't that good. And there's no different I can tell from anything else. <clears throat> and for those of you who want to just like sit down, maybe, hey, let's play some old school Halo. Now you better have an old Xbox then. You better have the Halo. Because I don't care what Xbox One says. Oh, yeah, you can play that on here. Download it for free. No. No, the you could. Here's what you could do. The amount of time it takes for the average game to download on Xbox One with pretty good internet, you could go work, buy an old school Xbox and that game and about a dozen others uh, for half the time it takes to download. Just go work your regular job and go buy the actual thing. And for any of you who like, you know, have had the touch of a woman, you know what a vagina looks like. Right? You're aware of these things. Right? Don't even waste your time with either the Xbox One or the PlayStation 5 or any future consoles. Because it is not made for normal people with lives. It is not made to have fun. Now, I will say, in defense, what I'm very impressed with is the Oculus Quest. I know it's Facebook. I didn't know it was Facebook. Someone said, you got to get it and he showed me. I'm like, this is great. <clears throat> uh, if you ever want to golf, let me know. I got I got the PGA golf game. Um, it that you t okay? Hold on, everybody at Microsoft, you ready for this? So you turn it on, right? It hasn't updated once yet. And then there was an initial update, logging in so you could buy games, right? But it, so far, like there hasn't been a twenty one hour update. I buy the game downloads i can play it i don't need to log in to ea sports i don't need to give a username or password it's on the game the thing the device i move the pointy stick i hit play and then i'm golfing oh my god <clears throat> so if you're looking like this christmas i'm not i'm not even saying this like oh this christmas i'm not plugging oculus quest that's the only that in the nintendo switch like, if you want an old school game, I would get the Nintendo Switch. By far, the best console game. But man, that Oculus Quest is fun. And the games aren't that expensive either. And they don't fuck around with this, oh, we have a disc. Here's the media, the physical media. Ha <laughs> ha, it just asks you, gives you permission to download more. Would you like to sign up for our email list? We need to text you a code. And it's over. Video games are over. Going to the future, yes. A lot of you are saying the PC master. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be PCs. Like, if you just want to get lost and play a cool game and chill out, PC. You know? Hell, even... And I know this brings up a whole other... The difference between Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. I would say Red Dead Redemption was the perfect video game. It's a great game. Open environment, you can move the plot along, a lot of side missions, this is perfect. Red Dead Redemption 2, they must have gotten a bunch of women in there, a bunch of nagging wives. The, the programmer said, I, I ought to bring my nagging wife in. What would you do? You should paint, you should pet your horse so your horsey is happy. You have to bathe and shower. You should do household chores and bathe. You should bale hay. Oh, good boy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is exactly what I want to be doing. <clears throat> Pet my horse because it might buck me. It, And I don't, I joke, of course, like, did a nagging wife get in there? Because that's what a nagging wife would do. But these games are not fun anymore. Uh, Cold War Infinity Wars or Cold, Cold Call of Duty Infinity? Some Infinity. Um, it's a futuristic one. I started playing that. I'm like, God, thank you. You go right to, you know, like press this to do that. All right. You do it. Here's that double jump. All right, God, switch weapons. Why? Boom. So I'm happy, but that is one in five games that I bought. <laughs> I bought a lot. Cause I was like, Oh man, look at these are cheap. I literally thought the guy at the store stole them. And they were like hot goods or something like, why is they so cheap? I'm going to get this. Like, I remember battlefield five. Wasn't going to get it. Cause they put the chick on it. Five bucks, I'll get this. And I'm like, oh, that's why it's impossible to play. It's impossible to play. But that that Infinity War, that one, straight to the shooting mode. 
if you know how to a, a, a first person shooter, you know how to play it. You know, oh my God, I got. You guys remember Medal of Honor Airborne? What they did to figure out the the control system is they all lied on their backs and got erections watching porn. These are all the video game developers. And then they all painted their dick tips different colors. And then they tossed up a video game controller with no color. And then wherever their dick tip landed, that what? That's the A button. That does that. Oh, that's the joystick. That does zoom. And so when you play, you have no idea what the hell is going. It is not standardized. And then you're like, oh, let me try it. Southpaw. They come up with a clever name. Oh, you're a Southpaw. Still fucked up. Can't do it. Oh, let me customize it. Nope, can't customize it. You literally might as well play with your with your noodly dick before you try and figure it out how the hell this works. You're trying to duck. You jump up <laughs> right into head. You have died. Spawn point. <clears throat> It's it's sad, but the game, you might hopefully you saved your old video games. Hopefully you saved your old video game console. If your children want to get a video game console, I really want to say, guys, don't get it. Go get an Xbox 360. Go get the old Xbox. Go get a PlayStation 2. My God, that was fun. How many games for that? PlayStation 2, that was amazing. Amazing stand. Uh, that, that, that right there is, is the, uh, what is the gold standard? I'd get your video game, just buy an old used system and buy a ton of games on the cheap. Hey, you go to the library and get these games for free. <clears throat> but if you, if you want to have fun, don't get an Xbox one. Don't, don't get a, well, there was a, I think it was the Nintendo Wii. Nintendo came out. You guys can find now they've taken it down because they made fun of a fat chick and we can't have that. But it was the Nintendo Wii coming out against, I think it was the Xbox 360. And it was a larger, rotund woman who I have to give credit to. She played that part. She played the part of a gal who was frumpy looking and overweight. And she knew that. She did that. So you have to give that lady. That's a truly brave woman. Well, I know. Not charging the Omaha Beach is brave, but <clears throat> braver than what we got now. And there was this cute girl in shorty shorts and like a tied up top. She's a cute blonde. And it's like, Hi, I'm Nintendo Wii. I'm fun to play and easy. And the other gal's like, seriously, you got her glasses up. I'm an Xbox 360. I have this many capacitors and this much RAM. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I have intensive immersive graphics. I throw turtle shells. She's got a turtle shell from uh, Mario, uh, whatever. Wee, but you. <laughs> I have an advanced processor system. I have amazing graphics. <laughs> I like to shoot guns. <laughs> that was it. And they didn't learn. They didn't learn. Because I like I like my uh, my switch. I put it in the game, so I buy the game. You know what's on the cartridge? The game. The game is on the car. You go bloop, and it's let's go. Put the thing in the Xbox. We need to update. Log into your account. Internet connection. You need to connect to the end. You don't remember your password. Hit your fucking pattern thing. Fuck you, Microsoft. Fuck you. And whoever the fuck is in charge of you right now. Just fuck all of you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go make your games for the losers of society. All right, go make your games for the dwindling percentage of people who are who are like now. If you're a pro and you do okay, you make money. Then I got that's your that's your job. <clears throat> but don't don't call them video games. Call them video chores. Call them video missions. Call them video lifestyles. Just don't call them video games because they're not games. They're not fun. And for those of you, that's the future of video games. It will be PC race. With uh, stream accounts, it'll be Nintendo or it'll be retro. And that's it. That's what it is. Because you have more fun with those games. You won't get the latest graphics. It's like, yeah, you know what? I, I don't I don't need another username. Like that should just be like no more usernames and passwords. Nope. You develop a system for me that requires no username or password, no account, no, none. I'm this close switching to Linux because every time I log into Windows 10, like, you, you need to update your, not update Windows 10. It's not like Windows 10 needs an update. It's like, you need to set up an account. The fuck I do. And stop fucking asking. But no, Microsoft has to get its, 
they got they got an airport hangar because Microsoft is up in uh, the Seattle area, and Seattle also has Boeing. Well, Microsoft rented uh, one of Boeing's hangars, its assembling hangars, so it could create and build a dildo big enough they all intend on shoving up all your asses. All right, that's what they intend. That's what's going on. So you see the Microsoft logo on that air. Feel like what's what's Microsoft doing with a with a an air uh, hanger? Why <clears throat> why do they need that? It's like because they're building the world's biggest dildo to fuck you with their latest platform or console. Uh, let's scroll here. Uh, I want to make sure they didn't miss any. Two years ago. Okay, so Megan, we got that there. Journey trials enjoy. Five bucks. Yep, I have to say thank you for helping me focus on my computer science bachelor's degree. I graduate this. Whoops. Sorry about that. I graduate this coming May. No wife, no kids yet. Saving. Well, <clears throat> may I recommend before you get married, you get this book, the book of numbers. If you drop $12 on that, you will, I don't know, rent a kid. <laughs> Rent just rent some kid a nephew get in. He's like, hey, how you doing? Hey, get away. Hey, it's five bucks. It's five dollars. Get out of here. Like, yeah, I love you too. Get out of here. <clears throat> I will admit one of the coolest things ever happened to me. I won't mention how or where. Yeah, I was introduced as a little five-year-old girl. And uh it, it within a 30-minute meeting of the child, uh kid had to go away. You know, obviously it's not my kid. And it was just, you know, like little talk with the little five-year-old kid. Well, it was nice to meet you, little one. And she goes and hugs my leg because I say, hey, I love you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, kid, I love you too. <laughs> Wish I could be five again, actually. That would be really nice. Uh, so little kid, yeah, and the life, yeah, well, you all know about that. You do not have a wife. You have a long-term relationship who lives in a separate house. That is that is the optimum. We here at Red Pill Laboratories. I should do a video spoof, like a commercial, but I'm not that good at Red Pill Laboratories, protecting the future of America. We I'd have a, like a, a smock or a lab coat, and I'd have a, a clipboard, you know, glasses. <clears throat> we here at Red Pill Industry Laboratories want to let you know where the latest R&D Coming up with the latest and greatest uh, products for the Red Pill community. Like here, we finally come up with the perfect formula of a happy marriage. First, don't get married. Second, don't cohabitate. Third, live 2.7 miles away from each other. And she has her own place with her own mortgage. Yes, Red Pill Laboratories, making the present day better for tomorrow. Or some kind of saying like that. <clears throat> what was Monster Zinc saying? I should watch that. That was a charming show again. Yeah, don't live together. Have her live at least across the street with her own place. You could have kids. Don't, uh, do not go have, do we go in? Why are you guys always like, no, no, mommy, mommy has to go home now. I want to go home with my, go home with mommy. Man, when you want to come here, come home with daddy. Daddy's got cool stuff. We got all the old video games here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mommy has a bunch of Teletubbies, not Teletubbies. Wait, what were the Beanie Babies? Mommy has a bunch of Beanie Babies. You got a Nintendo, it's cool. Blow on the cartridge. All right, let's go. Alex Patino, a truck driving Latino agent in the field. I bought a PS2 on Christmas of 04. I played it for 30 days, never played it again. And then fast forward six years later, I bought a PS Portable. Used it for three hours, never used it again. Now I don't care for games. Oh, maybe you just don't like games, Alex. I mean, as you get older, like I remember when the the first SPS or not, the, uh, yeah, first person shooter came out, like with the joysticks for Halo. That was revolutionary. I had some of my fondest memories of paying a LAN party because you could insult people while you were there. <clears throat> but yeah, as I've gotten older, it's like, oh, another first person shoot 'em up, you know. Oh, another Dungeons and Dragons Japanese weapons with wild, crazy colors and spells and magic going on. Okay. Um, but I really do like that golf. And now the golf game I got for anger management purposes because it is very calming. It's very relaxing. You could play quiet music. You can hear nature sounds. 
Um, that's very therapeutic, but um, pistol whip is pretty cool too, especially if you get the John Wick uh, uh, load up. That That's kind of neat. I'm being getting to the point where I can't play, not necessarily violent video games, but action-packed video games at night because it just jars me up too much. And I'm kind of like, okay, I, I can't, you know. So I, I just kind of go and... They got Top Golf, like Top Golf obviously branded it as well. So you could do Top Golf if you want. So it's a little bit more relaxed. They got cool animals. They program like elk and fox and, and a polar bear when you golf up in the in the snow. They kind of wander around. Hey, Thomas Landrum, <clears throat> 10 bucks. How you doing? How's the accounting? I have a PC, same issue. I use my computer every day. It doesn't matter. The game requires gigabytes of data to download an unwanted update for online gaming. Why I just wanted the story mode. Exactly. Exactly. Like if, if Microsoft, here, I'll just give free asshole consulting to Microsoft or Sony. How about you just have the campaign? Do a campaign for download for people who just want to be part-time gamers. Okay. Don't make us download the whole fucking thing. They won't do it. They won't do that. That's, that's too simple. That's giving the people what they want. But yeah, I just, I don't want to go online and constantly play against noobs, not to mention, uh, not noobs, but these really good um, experts. But then the ones that cheat, like I played uh, Call of Duty World World War II, WW2. And that was fun, but you see people phase shifting. And it's like, okay, so you guys are going to cheat. All right, fine. And you can report them for cheating. But like, I say, all right, look, I understand. Latest generation, you're all a bunch of Marxists and cheating is good and theft is, is great and uh, there's no morality. <clears throat> I, I'm not playing. I'm just not going to play. Uh, Kate Ann, another girl, female agent. Oh, this is our uh, very pretty model agent in the field. Two bucks. Say hi while you're live. Minimalism for the woman. Yes. Thank you, love. Thank you. I had sushi, by the way, today because I know you're a fan of sushi. So Kate's one of the regulars. Atham always lets her in. Athel lets every girl in, frankly. That's really uh, uh Daniel Way, new guy, 10 generous dollars. You think the reason you had trouble with contractors is because you moved to who dang diggly did no, no, it's 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 contractors everywhere. Um if you tune into the the previous video, which will be uploaded to my bit shoot, by the way. I did a great video taking down uh, contractors in Wyoming Heights and Californians. Basically, I threw them all together, gave them weapons. I said, fight. And it was wonderful. <laughs> um the uh I have a buddy who owns property in Minnesota and Florida, and he has to do his own contract because, yes, there's a shortage, but contractors are shit today. They're not professional. They don't show up on time. They don't finish the job. They don't do the job right. Sober or not drunk, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, you, you are, But you are going to save time and money doing it yourself than hiring out a, hiring out a contractor. And I'm not kidding. Like if you take it, go watch a tutorial on roofing. Right? You may not have the gear and equipment to pour concrete, <clears throat> but you can frame, right? You could frame. You don't have to build a big house either. You could just get a, a real quick, real quick way around this, especially since most of my audience is bachelors and you're just going to be on your own for a while. Go get a tough shed. All right. Just have it pre-made. Sixteen twenty thousand dollars. Look it up on the on YouTube. All right. Now, someone might have to pour the co a concrete foundation, or you could build a stand, put pylons of concrete down, um, pillars. Basically, you drill them down into the, uh, make them stable into the sheet, or not sheetrock, into the um, bedrock. Um, but there are cheaper ways to do it. Where if you just need a place for, if you just need lodging, you can you could practically. Pay someone to have it pre-assembled, built, delivered, and then you have minimal reliance on contractors. <clears throat> but you could do your own sheetrocking. You could do your own tiling. You could do your own shelving. You could do your own cabinets. You could do your own trim work. And you might as well because they're going to do a shit job if a job at all. Really, you might as well. And there's YouTube for it. But yeah, then you throw it into Wyoming where they're just a bunch of lazy alcoholic fucks. That's all that is. Uh, Fred Freeman saw two bucks. Is life less expensive for men who are asexual? Yeah, I'd guess so. Because if you're asexual, you're not pursuing after either sex. You're saving all pursuit costs. Now, gay men, I presume, are they have less pursuit costs because both men, they're still men, and they like sex. Whereas pursuing women, they don't like sex. 
<laughs> women, I, I kid, I'm, I'm being, of course, a dickhead. Women like sex about one ninth as much as men. That's about what the various measures and estimates we came to at Red Pill Labs. We Our latest research shows that women have one ninth the sex drive of men. Would you explain pretty much everything you've ran into? Um, yeah, so men will spend nine times the amount a gay man would going to a nightclub to find because there would be equal demand. Uh, I presume in the in the gay dating community. Um, and then um yeah, and if you're not interested in either, there's no pursuit costs. You just don't go to the gay nightclub. So you save what five dollars parking and a ten dollar cover on whatever you spend on drinks. Um I mean, you're, you're basically saying, what are you going to do without the pursuit of a significant other? Well, you're going to save a lot of money. That's what you're going to do because you won't even have kids. I mean, that, that's the largest pursuit is the pursuit of a significant other. Um, I wouldn't even call it an investment because men largely are going to waste your time or, or money. Uh, children are not, they do not provide a financial return on investment. Uh, your opposite partner will not provide a financial return on investment. Hopefully they provide a loving return on investment, but that that is often not the case. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep those doggies scrolling. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Rawhide. <clears throat> Nonstop Dre, two bucks. Dr. Disrespect YouTube streamer uses a $200,000 plus PC. I have no words for that. I, I have. Why? What? Like a car depreciates significant when you take it off the lot. I can't imagine a PC maintains its value. Unless the only reason, <clears throat> the only reason I could see Dr. Disrespect, well, let's take a look at him. I might know why he did it. How many does he have? Oh, okay. I know exactly why Dr. Disrespect has a 200th because he has 3.6 million followers and he needs a tax deduction. I can almost guarantee you that's why he did that because he makes millions of dollars a year and he needs to lower his tax bill. So why the hell not have the $200,000 PC? That much, I, I know exactly why he died. He's got an accountant says, go get yourself the $200,000 PC. That's what that's what he, he said. Uh Omen Crimson, new guy, five bucks. Notice how Cappy didn't mention mobile gaming when he mentioned the future of gaming. Cappy's a real gamer. Well, I mean, I mean, there's mobile gaming. I'm aware of it, but who wants to do this all the time? Dude, I got a cheap LCD projector. It's cheap. Again, 40% of things, but 4% of times things don't work. I'm like, oh, there's this LCD projector for 150 bucks. I remember when they were 5,000. And people say, oh, it's great for gaming. It's great for movies. You know, it's not the high school, but it's, it's good enough. So I get it. You know what? It only works at night. Because the bulb isn't bright enough to shine during the day. That's why it's 120 bucks. You don't see that on the reviews. 40% of your time is wasted. I'm like, fuck it. I'll just play at night then. Gets dark at, at 3 p.m. anyway out here. <clears throat> All the trees surrounding him in kind of in a little valley area. It gets, it gets dark early, and especially where I am. Um, Mobile game? Emily, what games do you play? Solitaire? All these stupid ass games where you got to hit the lever and then the molten lava and you get the jewels. Oh, wow. Hey, everyone, put a bullet in your head because your life is over if you get excited about that. Oh, there's a creature and there's a girl to save and there's me. Oh, what game puzzle do? Oh, wow. That's that's your life, huh? That's your life. May I introduce you to the Glock Corporation? <clears throat> Jesus. We do not advocate killing yourself, just so you know. Uh, please do not do that. That's bad. That's wrong. You should do everything else in the world because if you're going to die, then everything on the world is on the table. You could do whatever you want. So please do that and have some fun. He'd be like, oh, wow, life is worth living. Like the guy who went down to Texas, no, not, not Texas, Mexico, did some blow and some years. <laughs> He's like, life is worth living. Yes, yes, it is. I Maybe I should rephrase that. Maybe you ought to do something else aside from those video games, huh? I only do like the the Candy Crush type of games. I don't even do that. I get a knockoff version, um, you, you, where you match three of a kind. Uh, I only do that on um, on the airplane when I'm stuck and there's nothing else to do. 
The goddamn bacon. If you guys would kindly subscribe to the Bacon's Podcast for $2.43. In fairness, Seattle is the gahay. It is a gahay city. You mean lame. I'm sure there's a gay community within Seattle, but it's also a lame city. Uh, Fred Freeman sold two bucks. Is it bad if you want to see your girlfriend one to two times a week? No, it's perfectly fine. That's normal. That's about right. Ideally, you'd like to see her every day, but what girl does that? <laughs> what girl? <laughs> what girl is like, wow, I really want to see her every day. Well, let's be honest. What are you doing? My own fucking shit. That's what I'm doing. Thomas Rao, two bucks. Farming simulator is good for relaxing. Okay, maybe I'll get that. Nonstop Dre, two bucks. Boomer, it's all about mobile gaming and microtransactions. Right, exactly. I downloaded a really cool game called Gun. It was free. It's free to download it, and I'm playing it on the on my phone. I'm like, oh, it's kind of a cool game. This will kill the three hours, you know? And then it's like, I needed, I ran to this mid-level boss. I couldn't beat him with my crap gun. And then I go to the, the thing and it's like, oh, you need a gun upgrade. I'm like, okay, what do I got to do to get it? Like for $50, you could get the gun, like real 50, well, not 50, but like for five bucks, I get the real gun. I'm like, oh, fuck you, delete. <clears throat> Righteous Jamie, five bucks. The Switch is amazing, but the expansion pack with Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis is too pricey. Oh, so you could download all that? Did they buy Sega? I all I want is just like a good game that'll consume my time for a couple months. That's it. That's all I want. I just want like a simple campaign or an open environment where maybe I go shoot some eagles or something in Red Dead. Play some poker. Fred Freeman sell two bucks. Did you date divorcees from high school and college ever? No, I don't. I've never dated uh, divorcees um, from high school or college. I don't even know. I mean, I know of divorcees from high school and college, but I don't hang out with anyone in high school. Well, I don't live where I graduated from. I don't live where I went to college, and I don't keep in contact with anyone from college. No one. Um, I mean, I, I think, it, yeah. I, oh, I must. Yeah, I did. Yes, yes, I have dated divorced women. Yes. But I did not know them beforehand. I I did date a uh, one divorce gal who like we can't have sex until we're committed. Well, I guess we're not having sex, and I went and then uh, found out later she wanted to get her Mexican flag or Latino flag. Well, I slept with whatever Eduardo because you know I just wanted to see what the Latin experience was like. I'm like, yeah, fuck you, just just fuck you, <laughs> fuck off. Rules for betas. Break rules for alphas. That's and that's the law. I wasn't alpha enough. That's what it was. Had I known Rolo Tomasi when I was 29, 30 years old, I would have been spared the time I wasted. Uh Fred Freeman saw two bucks of law student. My building jumped to her death. That is too bad. But maybe she shouldn't have majored in law, and maybe she should not have majored in uh, liberal arts and had crippling levels of debts. And maybe, just maybe, she should have fallen in love and had a family instead of became a careerist. Just wondering. You don't know, Clary. Yeah, you're right. I don't. But as an economist, I kind of do. As a statistician, as a gambler, as a rambler, as a long way from home. If you don't like my speculation, then leave me alone. <clears throat> That's a variation of an Irish song. I'm Fred, tell me. Am I right? Liberal arts undergrad? Careerist? Politically motivated as well? No husband, no kids. Am I, gonna, am I, in, am I in the ballpark? Mikhail IRS, uh, two Canadian bucks. Try No Man's Sky. It's got, it's got good. I thought I heard it was horrible. Like you downloaded it and it was just uh, a <clears throat> random. Maybe they improved it. DJ Brady, 725 bucks. Did you see the Cato report on the free states index? Cali, New York, Hawaii are dead last while Florida, South Dakota, New Hampshire, and Tennessee are in the top five. Do a show. Why? Okay. Here, DJ, I, uh, I don't, I, I do appreciate you do it, but here's, here's the reason I, I kind of don't bother with economics or politics. <clears throat> If you are receptive to 
a simple logical message of freedom and no, you're not entitled to my money and my labor. And I'm not, I do not owe you slavery. If you can understand that simple concept, you don't need me to sell you the merits of low state income taxes and low business regulations and just leaving people alone. Like I, I don't have to sell you on libertarianism, so freedom. I don't have to sell you on freedom. You understand not only how it's good for you, but it's good for everybody else. And it's moral and ethical. If you are a leftist, Marxist, socialist, Democrat, whatever, somebody on the left where you believe you're entitled to other people's money or you're entitled to make yourself feel better by voting to take other people's money to give it to other, a third party so that you feel better about yourself because <clears throat> you're essentially enslaving other people so that you feel better about your politics. You are so stupid and amoral and evil or just stupid that a simple concept like freedom will be lost on you. And I cannot sell you, especially if you're a worthless person and all you have is your Marxist, socialist, leftist politics. All right. So there's no getting through to you. So the reason I really don't do economics or politics anymore is because you're either going to believe it or not. And there ain't no change in nobody's mind. Everybody here tuning in pretty much knows, yeah, yeah, move to a free state and start thinking about getting out of the United States. Or at least scaling down your work so you don't work to end minimalism. We're all on the same page here. Rush Limbaugh did a great job in the pre-digital uh, times. We've moved it along a little bit now, but I think we all kind of got it here. You know, maybe for an occasional high school kid or college graduate like who's waking up like, wait a minute. You, they told me to be myself and to be a soy boy and then I'd get the girls. Why don't I get the girls? And maybe they'll fall upon libertarian free market uh, freedom economics. <clears throat> Common sense. But that's too small a market. And you're not going to convince leftists to give up their fucking religion. They'll kill themselves over it because they got nothing else to do in life. So it's a waste of our time. You don't need to listen to more Rush Limbaugh. You don't need to listen to more uh, Dennis Prager. You don't need to listen to more whatever. Um, what's his name? On, uh, Fox News. Um, you're a grand American. Who is that guy? Why can't I remember? Nice set of hair. Kind of a shorter fellow. Sean Hannity. Uh, you don't need to you can go ahead. Listen, I, I don't care if you do. Tucker Carlson. You don't need to listen to him. You need to take action. All those hours you listen to Fox News or talk radio, or whatever, that should be spent investigating other countries and starting to fill out applications to like at least get a, a bank account or some property or something over there. Something. Okay. Take act crypto. Take action. Does just stop stewing in it. And so I don't, I really don't talk about it because it, it's a waste of time. You either know it or you don't. You got, got your head out of your ass or you're a Marxist piece of shit who's going to like depend on other people for your value and your life is going to suck. They're not going to listen to me. You're going to call me names. I don't know. And I'll, I'll tell you another thing, DJ. The only time I've ever seen people admit they were wrong and that I was right has been very recently <clears throat> where people from my past who I got kicked out of parties and, Oh, I can't believe you're a right, 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 right. And even though they were friends were like, Oh yeah, you were right. No shit. Oh, you got kids. <gasps> oh, do me, Debbie, Debbie, do you got skin in the game. You got genetics. You got skin that's more important than your skin. You got your kid's skin in the game. And now you take the time to think about it. And it's too late. Oh. That's the only time I've ever gotten people to, oh, shit, he's right. Because, you know, guys would agree with girls to get late. Girls would just say, I can't live. I love Tampa. Well, I can't bring up more money and hug a unicorn. It's like, and guys are like, oh, you're just mean. Like, hey, look, I'm gonna take down this conservative guy. Look, he listens to Rush Limbaugh. Ha, ha, ha. Oh yeah, Clary, you're right. Yeah, the kind of the kid came home with this in the in their backpack. Oh really? Oh, look at that. What does that say? It says he sucks because he's white and he's got a penis. Oh well, I don't know who you voted for him. Fuck you. Yeah. That's that's the, the if if that's what it takes is like 25 years of like, oh, shit, 
and and having kids and you're like, oh shit, no, I'm not gonna waste my time anymore. I I got I got a twenty odd year track record of of trying to point, but I'm going hiking. I'm gonna sight in my new gun that I got, my new twenty two rifle. I'm gonna practice with my Tavor or Tavor, however it's pronounced. The Israelis would know. Nonstop Dre 360, two bucks. Do you have arch enemies and how many do you have? I I don't know. I used to. And now I just don't give a shit. I do want to do a thing about enemies, like how enemies in my past have made me what I am and how valuable they are. And I'm not doing this as a ha ha. Let me get back at my enemies to show you how like you forced me to go down this path and now I'm successful. <clears throat> I'm not joking. Like not even forget internet celebrity ship or you know whatever else like that i'm being serious like if you run a regular boring you know nine to fiver career in life chances are you owe your success to your enemies because they forced you out of something that was comfortable whether it was right or wrong and made you do something and had to make you respond and you grew as something and in my case nearly every time it Put me on a path to something. I'll give you a perfect example. I dated this psychotic, bipolar, anorexic piece of shit, Kuantahaha. Um, and by by all means, I hope she is suffering a miserable life and dies a cancerous death and it's painful and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> that being said, would not have been here. Because if I had like just a regular ho-hum girl who wasn't a psycho bitch, I would not have gone down the path I did where it's like, not that anymore, not that anymore, not that anymore. Rolo went through something similar where he dated a bipolar gal and it wakes you up. And also it forces you to kind of alpha up a little bit. Like, no, I ain't tolerating that. No, you're not crying. Why are you crying? Oh, you're crying because of that bullshit. Okay. Get out of the car. That kind of thing. So it, it, it's good to have any, but I arch enemies who would have as an arch enemy. Um, I don't, I wouldn't have individual people because most of my enemies are NPCs and bored groups would obviously be radical feminists. Obviously that'd be an arch enemy communists, uh, race baiters or race pimps. Um, I mean, those all fall under Marxist Th parasites. I mean, what thieves do you, do you hate thieves? I hate thieves. That's how it is. Um, and how many do I have? I guess limitless. I did I miss this one? There's a $50 one. Very generous. Thank you very much. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to them all. I'll go back. I got the archive up. Fred Freeman saw two bucks. Single mom I dated drove from Naperville to Chicago to see me. Yeah. No, I, single moms will, uh, they will go the distance more than, than, you know, a not single mom. More than, more than her 10 year younger single childless self. Absolutely. Um, and single moms are more reliable because they have a child. I'm not saying a lot more reliable, but they are aware of another person now. And generally they will show up on time and they don't have a lot of time. So generally they don't stand you up, but they just needed some Latin peen so they could get their flag. <laughs> I looked that girl up. <sighs> Look, I ain't no McKellen 18. I ain't no uh, Glenn Fettick, uh 21. But compared to that ancient bottle of milk that has been sitting in the sun for the past, God, 20 years almost. Holy shit. I looked at that one. I'm like, I mean, you're really like, you look like a grandma lady. Like you had the body. You could have maintained it. You could have done something. You look like a 65-year-old woman and not a good-looking one. <clears throat> and yes, it did feel good. I will not say that was beneath. No, that felt good. That felt good. Little little victory dance. The little milk and scotch victory dance. I'm the scotch. I'm the scotch. You're the milk. You're the milk. You are spilt. You are spilt. I'm the scotch. And that's my milk uh, scotch song dance. Nonstop trade. Two bucks. Why not play Minecraft like Ryan Stone does? Um, Maybe. I don't know. It looks too cartoonish. I I really haven't had uh, much time to go. I mean, really. Last time I bought video games was probably two, three years ago. Um, 
this time um I, I was just looking for a first person to shoot him up kind of world war ii theme what i'd really like is for battlefield bad company 3 to come out which they set up for but they didn't why because there's too many guys having fun you guys want two good solid games just to play just run and gun have a good old time and and good writing and a good plot but not so much that you're occasionally hitting a button to watch a movie battlefield bad company one and battlefield bad company two great games Great, great characters. Like you're like, ah, I like these characters. Uh, Jaheel Watson, ten, Jaleel Watson. Sorry, Jaleel Watson. Ten bucks. New guy. Hey, Cappy. I currently work. Uh, currently a truck driver and interested in doing something new. I'm 27, childless and single. Is anything in STEM worth going back to school for? Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, not anything, <clears throat> but any engineering. Yes. Actuarial science, yes. CPA, yes. I'd avoid biology. I'd avoid your your general like general physics, general chemistry. No, chemical engineering. Look up starting salaries. That's the best thing to do, and make sure it's a bachelor's degree. Like start. It says here, chemists make like uh, one hundred twenty thousand starting. Yeah, did you see that doctorate required bullshit? Oh yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. And if you want, go get my book worthless. The young person's indispensable guide to choosing right major it kind of gives you a, a real good idea. But another thing you can do, if you don't want to drop the money, just look, you know, one Google search, starting salaries by degree, you know, if you're interested in something, <clears throat> but then also look up what, what the average salary is of a person with that degree. Like, uh, well, I don't know, let's say, you know, chemical engineer Type in chemical engineer BLS, and you can pull up the report from the BLS. and It'll tell you what the mean mid-career level income is and then you could kind of go from there so that's that's kind of a thing to do but truck driving man i don't know why give that up look look if you're thinking like oh this isn't fun no job is fun you get to drive you get to listen to an awesome podcast like this <clears throat> I, I do that fred freeman saw two bucks why do libertarians hate single moms so much um i don't know do they I guess because of the irresponsibility and, and the forcible taxation and cost it forces on freedom lovers. Like, let's say you eliminated the welfare state. Would libertarians hate single moms? They'd probably say, well, no. Why, why, who am I to judge whether you should be married or not? So libertarians would be for the act of being a single mom or a single dad or whatever family unit you want to set up. They are probably against the welfare going to single moms and their children. That's probably... My guess, because if you're a libertarian, you'd be like, no, I don't care what you do as long as you don't cost me money. That's libertarianism, basically. Uh, DJ Brady, five bucks. My bad. I didn't know you got out of that stuff. I thought I could get a small rant. Merry Christmas, man. Love your videos and the blog. Yeah, no problem, man. That's all right. Sam Whiskey, two bucks. Book of numbers will guide your way. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Here we go. <clears throat> Jacob Carson, 50 generous dollars. Thank you, Jacob. Here's some money, Cappy, sitting on my balcony, smoking while staring at the stars, enjoying the peace and serenity. Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, thank you, Jacob. Um, The $50, I was talking to Beckloff because he's like, oh, you got to get on Streamlabs so you don't give your money to YouTube. And there's a piece, I know this sounds stupid, but there's a piece where it's like, hey, YouTube gave me this platform. I owe him something. So I know, I know that's not a popular opinion. I'm just saying. Um. But then Beckloff is like, you also got to get an Amazon wish list. I'm like, isn't that for chicks with tits? On He's like, yeah, but I know it sounds girly, but it actually does help. And he's like, you, you really ought to try it. And I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, what do I need? Because unless it's like home improvement stuff and it's, if it's on Amazon, cool. Otherwise, usually you got to go to Home Depot and I could get it quicker. And about the only thing I'm thinking that I need, well, I just bought a travel mic and a travel camera. Uh, I've already, already bought the paint for the uh, floating shelves. I don't know. There's not a lot. I, there's there's not. May, oh, God almighty. The money might actually go to something fun. Heaven forbid. I t You know what? I take that back. There's a cookie store downtown Rapid City next to the video game place where I got the video games. <clears throat> I really will go down there and get one of their gourmet cookies. Um, But I don't think that that might be $2. I got to do something with the 48 I don't know, go to Deadwood and gamble. Yeah, oh, wait. Yeah, you know what, Jacob? <clears throat> I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. 
don't know why I didn't think of this before. That the some most of the money is going to go to Lucifer and Geronimo. I got to give it to my nieces. I'm going to give them twenty bucks a piece. You will have made two little girls very, very, very freaking happy because it's Christmas. It's coming up, and they they're starting. To, they're the older one obviously is aware, very aware of money. The little one kind of knows, like, hey, that number's bigger than that number because she knows their numbers now. And if I have these these, these numbers, I can go get cake and things and stuff. <clears throat> so I think maybe. And let's just be honest, kids want cash for Christmas. That's what they want. All right. There's always that risk. Oh, it's wrapped. Oh, they didn't give me what I wanted. There's a real good chance they didn't give me what I wanted. And there's like a 90% chance in my house. So I was like, oh, yeah, close. Just what I wanted. But you're supposed to buy me legally anyway. Yay. Here's that ditch in the nursing home. Um, <clears throat> I like the money. And you know, when Graham Graham sent you the money, came in that envelope that was like this. The only thing that could possibly be in that old envelope were dollar bills because it was long. It's just a bit longer. And then you'd open up, there'd be that card and there'd be the circle missing and you'd see the president. I like it. I got a five ski on me. Good times. <clears throat> Good times. Kids like money. That's what they want. They want money. Smart kids anyway. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, Jacob. I appreciate it. Don't worry. I'll have something else for the house to go. I'm just trying to think of what there really isn't much. I need some, I need one more set of blinds, but I haven't settled on the artwork. I'm going to put on them yet. So that's, that's kind of, I mean, there's a general fund it goes to, but really the USS Cappy it's, it's ship shape. There isn't much left. There is not much left. Uh, the geth five bucks. I just, should I keep just enough in my checking account to cover my monthly bills and spend all the rest on silver, gold, and Bitcoin, not just hold dollars? No, you need at least three to six months living expenses, U.S. dollars, cash, right? That way, if your boss becomes a kuantaha and makes you do illegal things or just becomes a psychopath, you leave, all right? You're not desperate. Or you start a new job and they lied and they say, oh, we were boomers. We lie about job duties all the time. Huh? <laughs> well, you just get to start in the mailroom. Well, why did I go to college? Well, we all start in the mailroom. Well, why, did, why don't you just hire me out of the eighth grade? I could do this. And why do you, no training programs, but we do have training and sensitivity vagina studies. <laughs> no, avoid all that. Three to six, six months, I'd say minimum living expenses. Then you go buy your, your, your cryptos and your precious metals and all that. Alex Patino, five bucks. Can't pay a disagree on the single moms. I dated one back in 08. She used her kids as an excuse to flake and she helped me open my eyes to female fecklessness. Um, <clears throat> they're not all, I'm, I'm not disagreeing about your experience. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I went back and figured it out, I'm sure I got stood up by some single moms too. And I guess the one, the story I told about the, the scotch and the milk. Yeah, of course. You know, there, I guess in a certain way there was a, a leading on. Um, you know, another thing, Alex, it might be, it could be our age difference. Cause I think I got at least 10 years on you and a lot did happen in that 10 years. I mean, there was still shame in my generation if you were a single mom and you weren't expect, there was none of this proud, you go girl strong. It was starting, but it was nowhere near the cacophony. Um, <clears throat> Maybe, maybe that might be the difference, generational difference. I'm just saying the, the experience I had is like, oh, yeah, she's a single mom. You're never going to commit. You're never going to marry. Uh, but, but you know, chances are she'd show up. Uh, nonstop Drake, two bucks. What's Cappy's favorite exam to take? Prostate exam. <laughs> uh, Dre, uh, what would we do without you? I'll probably enjoy the podcast a little bit more. Uh, DJ, uh, five bucks again. Coming in the future, there will be fat loss pills and better technology to get. Will there be fat loss pills and better technology to get rid of obesity? Does this give you hope? No, no, <clears throat> because look, the more you put life on easy, the worse people become. The most interesting people, the most valuable people, the people that are worth their merit and, and value have gone through hard times and become the strong men. That's saying again. Like if you go and you find someone that you're like, oh, I really enjoy this person's company. You go ask him or her about their background. Chances are it was not a cakewalk. 
Mom and dad didn't pay their way through college. They didn't get a stipend. Mommy and daddy didn't buy them a car. They know the value of a dollar. Thus, they know the value of time. Thus, they know the value of your time. And so they're probably a little bit more selfless and, and, and considerate of other people. But if you give people a pill and then all of a sudden they're thin, okay, so you're thin. Now I want to have sex with you, male or female. You know, it doesn't matter. Oh, look at him. He's hot. I want to have sex with him. Yeah, but he's not a better person. Versus somebody who lifts weights and goes through the pain and agony of losing 100 pounds, that person has a much more interesting philosophical mind, I'd argue. And it was much more capable of, uh, of uh, conversation. Fred again, two bucks. Tucker and Ben Shapiro told me to marry. I don't want to. You don't have to. Uh, Eric Burns Marsh, five bucks. Yo, dude, bro, houses for flipping, not fixing. Didn't you learn that at the Carlson School of Management? The Carlson School of Management would take case studies from the Harvard School of Business Management and just regurgitate it to us. That's it. You're a hedge fund manager of this company, which you never would be. It was never going to happen. Do a SWOT analysis on this company. Oh, yay. Um, no, owning a house that's more industrious and entrepreneurial than anyone would ever be flipping houses. I mean, all right, that's it. We're all caught up. Um, let me go, go here. League of extraordinary podcasters, 504 media.com financial survival network. Kanto talk starring Silvio Kanto. I know Frank Servi's still around. I don't know if he, he podcasts regularly. O'Shea Jackson. We all know O'Shea. TJ, uh, TJ is back. The world-class bullshitters. We cannot promote blackbrigade.org anymore unless I'm charging him. Plus, he's out of podcasting now, so I don't know if that website's even up anymore. The Masculine Geeks. <clears throat> Michael Kingswood. Go to podcast.michaelkingswood.com. The Safety Doc with Dr. David Perodin. The Goddamn Bacon. Jack Napier. Over at Red Evening, Rob Says at robsays.net. Ryan Stone, Rule Zero, which is a rotating thing. Uh, who else? Because this is the old one. Better Bachelor. I don't know. Roll it, Tomas. You want to tune in? Who wants to tune in? Roll it. Anyone ever tune in? Nah. We got that there. Um, oh, darn it. More Super Chats. All right. Hang on. <clears throat> hang on, guys. Fred Freeman saw two bucks. Going to Houston next week. And where should I go? Don't know. I have no idea. I just literally drove through that thing. From the east side to Katy. That was it. I have no idea. Jacob uh, Carson again. Ten generous dollars. You're welcome. So consider a tuition for your knowledge that led me down to wanting to become a plumber. Good. Glad you heard. Outstanding. Here's uh, some advice that will give you way more than your $10. Show up on time. Do the job right. So you don't have to come back and do it again. Be sober. There you go. Work weekends. Start your own company on the side. Uh, a comma, uh, 15 uh, Israeli shekels. Have some blood shekels for this lovely apocalyptic evening. Thank you. Thank you, Nakama. Um, that's it. All right. Let me go through, make sure I didn't miss any more super chats in the archive. So this would load up. Come on. All right. There's the shekels. Bears, uh, Fred for two bucks. Bears, 17, Packers, 14. Oh, too bad. Uh, see all. Smoking cigars, play Minecraft, No Man's Sky, Boomers, Mobile Gaming, 200K, Asexual, PlayStation 2, Afraid of Needles, content from a Russian agent in the field. Mexi Mike, kind of, yeah, we got them all. We got them all. Is that it? Hang on. Let me see. Is that it? <clears throat> no. There's Fred's. Nonstop Dre, two bucks. Operation Evil. Sandpaper September. Remember? <laughs> sandpaper September. Thoughts? Is that like where you jerk off a of sandpaper? I do not know. I don't know what it is. All right, that's it. Questions, answers. EsselConsulting.com. Read my books. Go get those. This will be uploaded on the uh, SoundCloud pretty soon. And thank you very much for all the generous donations. Uh, you will make me happy once I figure out what supplies I'm going to buy. And you will make two little girls happy. And if you're looking for something to donate, may I recommend Thor and Missy's 
uh, health fund. Please look up Thor and Missy on GoFundMe. We'll talk to you later, Tools.